to, to record. Recording has begun. Uh, minimum, I would have to check. But yeah, so how they work is you can change the, um, on this part of it, you change the target fuel level. So it looks like minimum, yeah, just, it just depends, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what it starts out as, but uh, the more fuel you dump in here, the further away it can go, all the way up to 150 fuel. I usually keep it around 75 to 100. It just depends on how far away. It doesn't like use it all anyway. You launch as far as I'm aware, so it doesn't take very much if you're not going very far. I guess is the is the bottom line. All right. We're back. So uh, it's been almost a week since I played, which is kind of crazy. This is the longest break from RimWorld from, uh, for a little bit, actually. So I need to remember exactly what we were doing last uh, when, we, when we left off last. Looks like we had a raid. I don't remember that at all, but it looks like we had a raid, so we need to get the um, the traps back up. Let me go around and make sure, like, were we battling any diseases or anything? Let's take a look here. Um... Uh, we got quite a few digits destroyed. Looks like ah malaria, right? So it looks like we overcame malaria previously. Oh yes, yeah, hysteric, poor hysteric. With their peg legs and their missing eyes. Oh hysteric, I'm so sorry. Flat tiles, radiation dangers. Didn't know where all your chem fuel went. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, so not a whole lot if you're not going very far from your base, right? We did get some um, some baby elephants last time. I believe they're called calves. Extra piratey, that's right. Let's call them powerhouse. Welcome in, Ink Boy. Welcome back. Did you get your uh, Rimworld issue solved, by the way, Ink Boy? Uh, are we keeping you? I don't remember who you are. Knowing voice, Bloodlust Brawler. That's right. Doctoring, planting, melee. So a resounding maybe. Uh, if we do, we'll probably end up switching this over to... What? Hello? Have I ever seen a wild person actually harvest the rice before? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't recall that. Uh, anyway. Mainly, we have three goals, if I remember correctly. We are currently um, trying to chill, stay low wealth while we research for the ship. That's goal number one. Goal number two, just to survive, I guess that should be goal number one. And goal number three, sci, sci casting? I don't know, I had something else in mind. I don't remember. It's been a week, almost. One of the internal cables going for the power supply was secured fully fastened. You're powered up, smoke and burning smell. Check to make sure there was no damage anywhere else. I think everything else is okay. Oh, that's not what's up though. My powers got gotcha. you. You've seen wild woman harvest rice? Yeah, I just never noticed it, I guess. Um, all right. So we need to get those traps done. It looks like we need to set up some um, wood harvesting. Speaking of research, currently we're only researching at the other base. Oh, that was it. That was the other thing. We still have the stupid EMI device here. Right, right. Tony Claire, welcome back. So uh, we still have the off-map EMI field. So that was the goal. So that's probably the primary goal today, aside from survival and just pushing research, is getting a team together to go finally take out the EMI device. That's it. It was just like picking berries or for yeah. yeah. It's just weird because I've never actually seen them do it. Just it's also weird since I played so many hours, but it's going Newton. Uh, so speaking of research, we are doing the research over at this base. The only place we can. Last stream, we did finally take out the EMI device. We did that. Definitely us. It was us. We we got the buff from it, so it must have been us. Uh, anyway, to increase our uh, research here, I'm going to start splitting up the schedule a little bit. So we do have three people that are on primary research. Let's make sure that's their their main. That one's after planting. That's uh, fine. Put them on primary research. All right. Got three people on primary research. I'd like one more, and then I want to split their schedules. So who else is not doing a whole lot? Uh, this is pretty important stuff. Whoever this is not doing a whole lot. Cleaning, hauling. So throw them on priority one research. 
And then who is that? So Yanni and Raider, if they don't have a couple, they're going to be going on research. So Yanni and Raider. All right. So Yanni. I'm going to go ahead and flip this. You're still going to recreate with them, but then you're going to sleep here. So it's kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird. We want to recreate with them at least one. But we want their anything block to be during the sleeping. So that's fine. That's this is weird. Anyway, we'll try it. Yanni and Raider. So hopefully this means that we'll always have two people on these tables uh, 24 hours a day. Well, not 24, but um, 16 hours a day. And uh, push that research. Get that ship done. Bunch of fire already get it fixed and it just worked. So that's the fact that you had to restore the game. It just, it just worked. So. Had one guy and another in Abasia. Not very much rice. Ugh, killer. Murderer. Got a new power supply coming though. Less than a week, get your fingers crossed. Yeah, hopefully that works. Man, that sucks. A generous Portentious pairings, welcome back. Hey, Powerhouse, thank you for the 400 bits. First bits of the week. Maybe the only bits. Thank you, Powerhouse. First real colony on chill settings. Just dealt with two sunblocker smoke generator that all showed up back to back. And they were active at the time you had a caravan geared up. Yeah, those off map things are, are the worst. Like we talk about Abasia joins and we talk about uh, sappers and sieges, but it's the, those off map things they added are way worse, especially the harder difficulty in the late game, because sometimes you just, it's just literally impossible. I mean, unless you have like, um, some kind of super weapon or super sidecast like Neuroquake, because sometimes you'll get something set up like an EMI field like this one, that's, you know, taking everything out in your base. Like you completely rely on uh, power and it'll be guarded by like 58 pirates, 58 pirates plus turrets. It's like, you're not going to take that out on a nor in a normal scenario. So it's like, what do, what do I do? Do I just, I guess I die or do I move my entire base or, or what? So yeah, I hate those quests. Those are, uh, those weren't added that super long ago either. Like 1.1 maybe. He will join us or die, master. <clears throat> Nikwa. Chub nuts. Uh -huh. Chub, thank you for the gift sub to Bulbasaur Cow. Chub nuts gifting a subscription to Bulbasaur Cow. That's that's a sentence that I probably would never have guessed I would ever say. Thanks, Chub nuts. That's also a sentence I'd probably never say. Only get four hours of sleep per day? No, they get it. They get it up to up to eight with my current schedule. But. <clears throat> Uh, Louise, welcome back. So, I've asked you so many times. I, I'm pretty sure I still get your name wrong. But I still appreciate you. Uh, Alright, so yeah, that's what we need to work on. Getting uh, getting ready to do the EMI device. So, how far away is it? Isn't it only... Yeah, it's really close, actually. 1.3 days. So, let's say a day and a half. Hmm... Day and a half there, half a day there, half a day, or a day and a half back. So let's just say we're going to be gone for four days. So I'm getting this one in. The Slanking Witch. Witch, thank you for the follow. Base joined a bit, started a negative retaliate round with Randy Random, and the first four members joined or paralyzed back. Oh no, it's so dumb. So not only is the Asia uh, event dumb, but because it is one of those events that's based on population curve, like you said, when you just start, it makes naked brutality even worse now because more often than not, uh, you get paralytic abasia to, to like up to three to four pawns, right? Like first year, it's just you and some some people in a coma. It's like, oh, that's true. Yeah, we will have the, we will be taking at least an elephant. I think I'm gonna let these two elephants grow up or uh, do we get, no. Or I'll get another elephant. Um, Either way, before we go. Okay, we gotta get these traps up. That's the first thing. <laughs> Hero training the elephant. Stare sleeping. Psychic inhibitor, two into females. It was guarded by 30 pirates. 
Had 17 women and only nine men, so you had creative ability to trap me on map. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's crazy though. Um, you're lucky you were able to build it because you might remember during the 20 year run, we had a like a 50 pirate base and I sent 25 people over. And for whatever reason, they attacked as soon as we entered the map. Like as soon as we entered in the open, they just swarmed us. It was very weird. And we didn't have time to set up, get cover, build. I think I'd actually, I had taken a mortar or something with us. Yeah, I was like, I want to set up a mortar at the edge of this base. And they were like, nope, <laughs> no, you're not. I don't know, it just seems so random sometimes. Um, so anyway, we gotta get these traps up here. What's our wealth at? 27,000. That's not good. That is more wealth than I would like to have. Uh, all right. Yeah, we definitely have to get the traps. <laughs> Raiders have more than nope. Random punching sounds came from inside of the building. Someone is having a breakdown. <laughs> Bonnie, you're pretty happy. Custom trees. Um, we need to get someone else that's really good at animals. So that's a seven. They are good enough to uh, help with the elephants, actually. So maybe I have them, no. no, I need them cooking. I could have them do it second. Yeah, that's fine. So handling second, there we go. That'll be good. How's it going, 20, welcome in. Well, I'm counting for blocks of sleep. No, there's, there's eight. Four here, four here. Four here, four here. Just split up. It's a uh, my my phasing schedule. When honks welcome in. Just surviving. So I basically divide uh, the day into two days instead. Well, entertainment, entertain me. <laughs> Too tired. Sorry. How about I bore you into a coma? Uh, multi oil. Welcome back. So we still have some idle here, which is all right. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm still a little concerned that we'll eventually get sappers back this way. Hmm. What? I thought I switched them. Oh, I just clicked the wrong button is why. <laughs> yeah, my bad. So I ended up dragging, uh, <laughs> dragging another anything there. Uh, community I thought you were talking about rules. the bi schedule in general. Yeah, my bad. You are right. Just those two. Let's just be dragging the wrong button. <laughs> Bit of break. Catatonic. Uh, champ. Thank you for the following. Welcome in. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's go on cat pig. Welcome back. All right. Uh, so, Vampiro, I need these traps done, my friends. And so, let's see. Yeah, we need another builder in this colony. I mean, Hysteric, we got him trained up enough where he can, he can help. He started at, at one or two or whatever by himself, but, um, he's a seven now. So we could have him built. Yeah, we might as well. There you go, Hysteric. He has no eyes is the problem. So, uh, that's fine. Who needs eyes to build spike traps? Psychic Droner for pay. If you do, enemies will activate a site nearby. Psychic Droner machine? I think not. I'm already dealing with it, you mind. Screw that. Let's go on, Woozy. Welcome in. Screw that. Yes, yeah, so we need to, uh, what was this guy good at? Plants. So I think when this one joins, we actually will go take out the EMI, or we'll try to. 
And do we have word of trust at this? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. So we're going to recruit them, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that means I'll have to make another bedroom. God, bedrooms. Bedrooms. I could just use this as a bedroom until we need a new prison, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. Have today off. So we didn't wake up at specific times. Hooray. Hooray. Royal Tribute Collector. I could do a third research shift. It's Canada Day that fly you today. Yeah, let's do a third one. We might as well. Happy Canada Day. Let's get this stuff done. Um... So let's go ahead and put, like, big one. Big one in Merrick. See, so there anything will be during wreck? Yeah, that's okay. That should be okay. Kind of weird, but Lunar. Let's try that out. Stir the ass. Oh, did you get harassed? Now though. Oh, well, we're just still wearing them out of the way. Such a cozy alcove in the mountain. Full-time content creators now? Yeah, yeah, it's weird. We are. I don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully I don't have to start like looking for another another second job in like a couple weeks or I'm like, oh God, what have I done? But yeah, <laughs> go ahead, Jay, welcome in. Lunar, what is all this about, Lunar? A raid. How do I play this game? How do we do this? Nine. Fifth. Fifteen tribals. Oh, that's fine. Tribals. <laughs> I mean, we're tribals too, but don't tell anyone. We have an elephant here now, though. Elephant named Cat. Oh, God. Why did I check if they're uh, sappers? Cause that almost screwed us over. <laughs> They're over there setting that wall on fire. Good job, little buddy. Good job. All right. It's way too many people. Uh, let's get our doctors back here. People with the shield belts to the front. I think we got it. We got enough trash, probably. Go, meat shields, go! So we had just exactly enough traps. Alright, nice. Let's capture people and ask questions later. Capture, capture, capture. <laughs> capture. Do I leave someone else? Oh no. That's a lot of captures, what? Capture, capture. I'm gonna need another. Holy crap. 
Oh, people dying. Not my people, I don't care. Let them die. So, Dominico, welcome in. Phil, welcome in. Tell me she was sad in ODA stream yesterday. Really? That's surprising. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately I couldn't, but hopefully back to it next week. So, free water. Tiberius! Five new friends. Yeah, let's check them out. Great memory. Jealous doesn't matter. Uh, burning passion construction. We do. Oh. Uh. Uh. I don't know that I want them anyway, but. Underground or slothful. Well, we don't want that. That's for sure. So go ahead and release them. Slowpoke sickly. Misogynist. No. Get out of here. Too smart transhumanist. Good with melee. Probably still not. <laughs> Tough 10 burning passion melee. Maybe. Maybe. We'll reduce the resistance there. Side later. So now I'm thinking about sending it over to the other colony. Maybe this loose. Death song right at the beginning. Ten new kidneys. <laughs> Alright, we had just enough traps. We need to get these back up again immediately. Uh, who's happy enough to take corpses somewhere? Um, Swamp Witch, you're pretty happy. We'll carry some corpses. Do we have wood? Yeah, we got wood. The Yayo death song has come. It's going cloud. Welcome in. We still need to get wood over here. Oh my god, another research. Look at us. Researching and things. Yanni. All right, Flesh, you're pretty happy. Were you already taking a corpse away? Yeah, there we go. Good, good. Some wall crimes. Uh, first time you drank Psychite tea in your current run. See, the song started, huh? Run's going smoothly now. It has been, uh, it's been a trip. I can't believe this is run number four still. We take him to guinea pig. I forgot. I forgot we set that to happen. Now the elephant's pretty uh pretty important. I'm gonna let him stay inside. He's gonna eat a lot of our food, but whatever. You get anxiety when you have less than a hundred yayo. <laughs> you might be a drug addict. Are these guys able to stay in yet? Still not. Wouldn't sappers destroy the entrance? Sappers would destroy a couple of pieces of a wall, but like there's literally nothing we can do about sappers in this kind of run because we can't use turrets or anything. So if sappers come, then we see which spot they're starting to break through. We set up a, a meat shield or whatever, and we just take them on. Mono y mono. In a normal run, we would manipulate their AI so that they would only come through where we wanted them to. But we can't do that in this one, unfortunately. Main problem is when sappers spawn here, which is gonna eventually happen, I'm sure. And they will immediately beeline here. And that's, uh, we don't have a lot of time to react. So I was talking about that earlier that I probably should thicken this up just to at least give us some time to react when sappers ine inevitably spawn on the side of the base later. Good job, turkey. Good job, turkey. Let's get those guys out of here. Spider-Man's 
inspire creativity. It's a point where you feel challenged not possible. Oh my god. Another raid. Traps aren't done. Haha, <laughs> Empire's here though. I still think it's possible. Mm. <laughs> Try this. Alright. We got a peer. Cats join. Oh boy. Oh boy, cats. Oh, look at these guns I want to use, but I can't. All right, any of you guys are awesome? Creepy breathing. Give interest while it's ugly. Eh, good melee, though. Uh, this guy we can save for some rep, so let's go ahead and grab him. Who's nearby, Vampiro? Rescue them. 11 construction with neurotic. Hmm. Misandrist. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know about them yet, but we'll grab them and decide in a minute. Slow learner. Look at all his passions, though. Hmm. Yeah. Nimble pessimist. Yeah, we'll skip that one. We can eventually break down the guns and stuff. For some materials. For now. All right, let's check out the cats. Oh. Whoa, that's a lot of cats. All right, cats, uh, let's just put you out somewhere. There you go. You'll be the first line of defense, and if you starve, we'll eat you. Deal? Deal. There you go, cats. You guys tend to him. Uh, Vampiro and Obvious. Here's over there. Obvious, let's move you to the front here so I can remember. There we go. <laughs> Eat cats. What? Hey, how's it different than eating pig? You know? It's so sad. <laughs> oh, they all died, so. I probably should, uh, probably should keep an eye on that. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Hi, Apple. 38 months, almost one full year. That's a long time. Almost one full year. Is it on Pineapple? Uh, thank you for the continued support. I'm glad you like the lawn cutting stream so much. Pig tastes better? H how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about assuming. Don't do it. It's at least half a year. Hey, we have a dog out here. Cool. Are you going to ever be able to stand again? Yeah, they actually probably can already. Yeah, they're already able to. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. Now we can recruit them. This will be their bedroom. Should probably go ahead and make a bed in here for them. Man, we still need more wood here. Next three eight months. See, we okay? Yeah, probably won't be. Pro probably. A wanderer joined. What? What are you doing to me? Ten melee tortured artist. 13, 76 years old. I have just the place for you, old man. Prison. What's my let you 3x anytime? Oh, you mean like 
Um, right, I forgot that a thing. Uh, it's the no pause mod that I'm using that allows to to do that because normally it slows down during raids and stuff, right? So, yeah, it's it's the no pause mod. It's the only mod we're using really. So, do, do. no pause, no the no pause replaces the pause button with 4x, and then also makes it not pause anytime ever, not even during um, trade menus and stuff like that. And then it allows you to do the fast forwarding even during raids, which can be very very bad. I've been on 4x before when a raid happens suddenly. I'm just already getting shot at before I can react. Drop pods and stuff. Can you uh, come deposit your items before you go to prison, old man? Alright, let's go ahead and just drop off your food. Silver meteorite. Uh, go over here. Let's see, your clothes suck, so... So we're gonna name him something before we uh, release him so that we'll know not to save him if we ever get the qu a quest to save him and we see all capitals, we're like, nope. So we're gonna arrest him, we'll let him go. What this will do is instead of banishing or killing, we won't get any mood loss from him. All right, I forgot. Because we put a door up here and it's not a complete opening he won't just leave now because it'll consider all this a prison i actually don't need that door anymore anyway so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it that was back when we were uh trying to force things to take out the mech cluster for us which worked colonies have ended from 4x yeah on 4x and all of a sudden there's a drop pod raid it doesn't pause or anything because we can't pause it doesn't slow down or anything and then bam don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> How do you know cats taste worse than pig? You don't want to know. Our <laughs> Maybe they do want to know. Grows. Uh, Tivoti? TV, TV, I don't know if I'm reading your name right, but thank you for the follow. Do you appreciate it? Alright. So, now, when he wakes up, he should escape. I'm going to rake on Yanni. What's going on, Yanni? Pessimist. Oh, the barracks went down to dull. Yeah, it's not getting planted anymore. Oh, my. Because we divided... Um... Oh, no, two else. Because we divided more people up to research... Oh, my God. He went to a freaking days. Um, we don't have as many planting all the time now. Like, there are several of them that were planting first are no longer doing so. Um... So maybe I don't want to do that right now. So we get this uh, set up a different way. Flip Raider back on. You played Mass Effect. Do you remember if there was a comic book style recap between games? Yes. Yes, there was. Wait, was there? I think there was. There was a comic book type thing at the end. Maybe there wasn't between games. Maybe I'm misremembering. It was only at the end of all three games. There was a comic book-like thing that showed the endings, though. But, uh, yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe the one in between is new. Let's go on Aspen. Welcome in. Ben, welcome in. Ixen, good to see you. Two interactive comic recaps. Alright, we'll be recruiting them soon. Slight choices. Give a story at the same time. Zaman and Steric getting some loving. Still kind of weird. Blitz, are we going to keep you? I don't know. You're in a terrible, terrible prison. 11 in construction. Otherwise, you're not very good. Neurotic. Cassandra's trigger happy. Yeah, I'm just going to let you go. We got some medical experience off of you. That's all we need. Two and th one and two and two and three. And then there's the ending one. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I remember the ending one specifically. Are you streaming on the 4th? Yes, I will be streaming this Sunday. A guinea pig self-tamed. Well, whoop-dee-doo. Why two colonies? Exclamation base. 
that's the most common question I was getting. I was answering it like every 10 minutes. So we made a clip. So if you type exclamation base, it'll explain it to you. No, it's just a little Twitch clip. Yeah, I ended up answering that on the last stream, probably like, I don't even know, like no exaggeration, maybe 20 times. So we just made a clip. Doing are we winning? <laughs> Uh, all right, we got those traps back up, so we should be okay with a frontal attack here. Uh, I want to change this so we don't have... Well, this one we don't have to rebuild the doors, but I might change this one. Mm -hmm. website. Is that a winning.com? Uh, there's like a meter on there. Set it up to some kind of dial on my mixer. Don't click that. <laughs> What happened to advanced components in a wall? So, the reason for this is because we can't use them yet at this colony, right? But, long ago, maybe about a year and a half, two years ago at this colony, when it was much smaller, we basically got two people killed in order to get, to finish a quest that gave us two advanced components. And I just had them in storage. Then someone had a breakdown and they went in and they destroyed the two com advanced components before I could stop them. So we did this big, long 14 day quest where we ended up losing two people to get two components. And then one of the people that survived ended up going crazy and just breaking the two, two components. So we lost them for nothing. So the next time I got two components, I threw them behind a wall so someone uh, can't just break them before we can use them. Answer to that question or wrong? Hope so. My answer is usually, well, we're not dead. So that's pretty much winning in RimWorlds. Yeah, friggin' RimWorlds. Rim world. Hey, it's almost time for you to be recruited. What are you doing? H Hello? Oh God, they're a brawler. Obvious, watch out. <laughs> And I kind of don't want to... Yeah, let's use the cl club on them. I was going to say, I kind of don't want to use the axe on them. Oh no, but Hysteric has no eyes. All right, screw it. If you die, you die. Um, Vipiro. I have no wood for that. Do I have any other material that we have 25 of laying around? Uh, we got 25 granite. Okay. Take a little longer to build. Obvious what happens to you during that. Ah, uh, lots of bruises and stuff. You're fine. Steric. Same thing. They're alright. On psychic powers, technically ranged. Uh, no. Should go on the Amazon run because the Empire was after you. <laughs> going, Shaler. Welcome back. Channel struggle continues. Yeah, run four. Continues. Not in dead. Going tatas, welcome in. Are you winning? Well, we aren't currently losing. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much. Pretty much the real answer. Get back in your hole. Alright, so like I said, we need to uh thicken this up back here so it maybe just even one more layer so we have slightly longer to react from the inevitable sappers in the back do we have any sidecasts to skip nope we do not not yet uh we haven't been too lucky with skip in fact we had like what two or three level six sidecasters in this run that died already none of them got skipped we did have uh, Neuroquake on one. We had Skip Shield on two. Um, but no, we haven't had Skip on anyone. Another raid? <gasps> Mech drop in the base. Cats. Oh, 
There's a Scytherin. Side. No, that was a very small one. All right, we're good. Small, thanks to our losses. Um, man. Uh, the elephant calf, one of them almost died there. That's all right. That's all right. Get it tended to. Oh, it lost its eyes. Oh, no. A steric human elephant that is matching you. All right. Steric has new eyes. Our elephant has new eyes. It's pretty small drop, though. What? When's the most recent time we lost in a uh, person? Like, we're at 25,000 wealth? Two or three mech drop, center drop. Seems a little low for 25,000. Baby elephant carried that fight, though. It did. Hard carried. Poor elephant. That cat tanked to hit for us. Am I complaining that that wasn't a hard enough drop? No, it's just weird sometimes. Because for anyone that doesn't know, Randy has this... Um, he can hit anywhere from 0.5 strength to double strength. And we've been pretty fortunate the last little bit in this run. Partially because we've had so many losses that uh, the population curve is in our favor as far as that goes. So uh, raids are, are lower because of that. And in addition, Randy will sometimes lo roll below a 1.0, which means raids are smaller than they should be. And so when those things combine, it's like, it's very weird sometimes. It's like, what? Let's just make sure here. <laughs> yeah, we're still on losing its fun 500%. But are we winning? Uh, yes, 100%. Rainy's complaining, <laughs> or I'm complaining that Rainy's making this too easy. Don't tell Randy that. Winning until we all die, yeah. It's like uh, the original colony on this playthrough, the first colony that fell. It's like, we were doing pretty good until we all died. All right. So. Once this person joins, uh, we'll get ready to go take out that EMI, and then we can finally have power here, which will be fantastic. We can sell that junk. Oh no, guinea pig too, my favorite guinea pig. What's with all the psychic drone requests? No. Everyone loses this stuff. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm working on building the ship, yeah. The only way that I'll do a different one, I'm not gonna travel to the ship, so it looks like we're gonna try to build the ship. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to doing the royalty victory. However, um, I'm not gonna specifically aim for it. Like if we had those five or six prisoners and the empire shows up, it's like, all right, let's cash them in. Let's get someone uh, like our, if we had an aesthetic, I think we have an aesthetic somewhere. Then, you know, I would probably cash in and do that, but yeah, I'm probably going to build the ship and I have an idea for the ship. If we get to that point, that's kind of crazy. I don't know if it'll work, but I, I figure this will be the best run to test it. And why not test it in a run that it's almost impossible to win anyway? Cashing in prison. That's right. It's going Griffin. Welcome in. Yeah, right now we're, uh, we're researching the ship. So. Welcome back. 
Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Good news, Jeff Gates can walk again. Uh, paranoia. Thank you for the reset. 12 months. Well, that's almost one full calendar year. What am I doing? Where am I? Uh, thank you, Paranoia. Man, it's already been a year. Very much appreciated. Buzz, welcome in. The Great Wall strategy. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. All right. <laughs> Here's part of my, what I'm thinking about the ship. I might actually make a third colony at another mountain base just to build the ship at. Death is just one step on the road of pain and suffering. That is this challenge. True. Speaking of, the first episode of this challenge is going up on YouTube in 30 minutes. If you want to see the beginning of the pain and suffering of this, uh, of this run. What? He had a slaughterer breakdown out here? He, he was almost off the map and he turned back around to come kill an animal? What is wrong with this old man? Have you ever gone to the ship? Yeah, it's been a long time though. Last time I did a ship, uh, I traveled to the ship was like in 1.0, so it's been a couple years. But it's my least favorite of the victories. It's relatively easy. You just you get there and you you launch the ship. <laughs> What the? Hang on. He's got double catharsis. In the middle of his slaughterer, he was like, you know what? Actually, I'm, I am I just really feel like I could build a good chair right now. He has an inspiration in the middle of being a slaughterer. God, I'm so mad. I'm going to go and I'm just going to mangle a guinea pig. God, I hate guinea pigs. Or I can make a really pretty shelf. Yeah, I'm going to make a pretty shelf. Man, he's gonna end up starving to death out here is what's gonna happen. There he is, extreme starvation, tag him it. Come on, guy. <laughs> what a quick redemption arc. Spy recruitment. I can make him sound like Granny. I suddenly don't wanna kill everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do we still have craft spot? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, wood start again. This jerk still hurting. It's gonna be fine though. It's gonna be fine. Make a chair out of guinea pigs. Yeah, that's what he might do. Perhaps he will. Mine's uh, my favorite chair when I was a kid. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Chairs. I used to build chairs. I will build a chair now. Do we feed him? Yeah, I think we... Yeah, we fed him. How many times is he going to yo-yo back in here, though? So it work, just so you can have your commentary with Grind Excel away. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Which series did you, did you find? Mad Boomalo. Uh, let's just get people in. I just... I don't want anyone to light on fire, you know? Misfortune, thank you for the luck. All right, Boomalo. What you gonna do? You gonna take out our traps that we just built? Probably. You gonna light that cat on fire? Never saw it coming. Look at that elephant saving the cat from the fire. Man, that's like some kind of Disney movie crap right there. Made for TV Disney movie. New sequel for Dumbo or something. The Cassandra at home or at work? Gotcha. Cassandra enthusiast herself. It's interesting how that goes. Uh. Yeah, let's Let's get that put out. Oh, I see. There we go. 
Good shot. You can't smoke a cat. I think she had misheard me. Phoebe for three. Uh, so I'm really thinking about doing a 500% Phoebe run because I've just, I've never seen one. Like, let's see. All right, so Phoebe is actually programmed to be easier. She really is. Doesn't matter. I know the thing says, at harder difficulties, Phoebe, you can be just as hard as any other. It's not true. She is literally programmed not be uh, able to be as difficult as the other two. However, I am still kind of curious what a 500% Phoebe run would be like because I've never seen one. So I might do one of those with some other kind of stipulations after this. Yeah, she has a lot of hard events disabled. And not just that, it's that uh, she can only send one at a time. That's the big thing. So for, for Cassandra, she can send two events within a 4.6 day period. Um, Randy can send two events per day. Like raids and stuff. Uh, Phoebe can only send one and then she's on cooldown. So it's like... I like single spell, yeah. She's, she's much easier. Not far enough in the series to see how you deal with this. How do you deal with mass low shield packs? Even with MP grenade, shield packs still go up. Uh, when I get to that point of the game, I basically just burn. I just burn the raiders. Yep. So, um, when I get to the point where pirate raids have lots of things like low shields and doomsday and stuff like that, I make a burn tunnel. And I, I just literally burn them. If they fall on top of us, then that's a little bit easier in general because I'll just, you know, melee rush in into the um, the shields. But in general, yeah, the fire tunnel is what I do to solve late game pirate frontal raids. Sing Burning for You by Blue Oyster Cult while you do it. No, I sing uh, Disco Inferno. It's my Disco Inferno is my mass human incineration song of choice. Efficient, just don't quite like use them. Any other options? Not really, not other than the EMP. Uh, I mean, well, there's always side casting too, right? Side casting is super strong. Like Berserk Pulse is insane. You can pretty much handle any any raid with Berserk Pulse. So side casting, like you said, EMPs, but still low shields will get up. So it can be a little bit problematic, but there's other uh, traps you can use too. Like roof traps are really good against humanoids, but God-based YouTube algorithm recommended me, and now I've gone through eight hours of videos. Send help. Send help? How about I send you 200 more hours of RimWorld videos? Just in that one series. Uh, Robbie, yeah. Glad you found the channel. Doctor, welcome back. <laughs> when are we going to get a Wayne June Disco Inferno line? Even better. Yeah, but that's, that's usually what I do to handle it, though, is the burn tunnel. I know some people don't like using those, but... That sounds like a challenge I can take on. Mm -hmm. So, I've tested my YouTube videos, and uh, if you do want to get through a lot of the content, but you don't have the time to watch thousands of hours of content, most of them you can watch in 1.5 speed, and everything is still enunciated enough that you can understand everything that's going on so you can click on the gear put playback speed is 1.5 and get through them much quicker oh my god he's down again oh well he dies dies 1.5 is the way if he died man we're kind of blasting through this research now so right now we're mainly just waiting on this person to get healed. When they get healed, we'll get them uh, geared up a little bit. We're gonna go try to finally take out that EMI device. Uh, once we take out the EMI device, we'll be able to get electricity here, which will be a big boon for us. Um, and what we need to start doing is we need, we really, really need to start working on getting stuff for the ship. So we're gonna need to start uh, working on Plasteel uh, as the big one. We need to buy advanced components. Speaking of, we did have a meteor land over here, right? We still haven't mined all that out. But we also had a silver meteorite. Thank you. For those watching it, 2x, yeah. <laughs> did like character models and hope they didn't dumb it down too much. Says early access this fall. Yeah, I'm afraid they did. 
Tony had that a bit on the stream too. Pretty they did. They got rid of almost all the management. Like I'll I'll wait to pass judgment on it till I play it. I hope it's awesome. But holy crap! They didn't get just get rid of the town. They got rid of gear. They got rid of levels. They they went from a sixty to a hundred hour playthrough down to a four to six hour playthrough. Like there's so many things. I don't know. We'll see. I'm worried though. That's when ghost woke him in. Speaking of Dark Dungeon, Inspector, have you managed to claw your way back on that run? Yeah, this guy, this freaking guy. Well, you know what? I said if he died, he died. I should have at least let him die closer. Oh well. Easy come, easy go, apparently. It's minus three. Trust the devs to make it epic. But Darkest Dungeon on release was still closer to current Darkest Dungeon than Darkest Dungeon 2 is. So that's one the big thing I'm worried. Like, they got rid of accuracy. Because, like, that, that worries me a lot. So before they even announced anything about Darkest Dungeon 2, um, I said I was really worried about them getting rid of the, or listening to too many, um, too many upset people because... Uh, I don't know, a year, a year, year and a half ago, Red Hook tweeted that one of their biggest complaints was, they complained about some, excuse me, they tweeted what a couple of their biggest complaints that they get for Darkest Dungeon was, and one of it was uh, having to manage the Hamlet, one of it was missing attacks, and so they got rid of all of it. Probably room rolling. Yeah, eulogy. It's like, it turns out people don't like missing attacks, so we're just going to get rid of accuracy entirely. So they literally got rid of accuracy, <laughs> like... I remember months ago, people were like, do you think they're gonna make it so you can actually choose more equipment, not just two trinkets, and so you can equip different armor pieces and stuff? And I was like, I highly doubt it. If anything, they're probably gonna get rid of them. They're like, what? Grows. That's a big part of Dark's Dungeon. They're not gonna get rid of that. They got rid of it. You can only equip one trinket. I mean, like I said, I hope the game's good, but there's a lot of things that they've said that's pretty worrying. Frozen Penguin, thank you for the follow. Yeah, all co core gameplay mechanics. Go it's more like a spin-off than it is a sequel. Hamlet was awesome. Yeah, no more Hamlet. It's for mobile. It really seems like it's more mobile friendly. I'll say that much. You managed to kill the Viscount. Final Hag. Bosses go, and it's all a Darkest Dungeon. Nice. All right, we finally got this recruit. Let's see who you are from the queue. It is Hairball. I don't remember if Hairball was in this run or not, so if you were, oh well, you're back. It's going Nova, welcome in. Just add story. Yeah. The main, you know what it was? Yeah, changed the graphic style. Oh, <laughs> they basically are changing everything. Like I said, hopefully it's awesome. I'm just worried that it, I'm worried about it. That's, that's what I'll say. Uh, Creasing, thank you for the follow. So they won't be able to do dumb labor, but uh, they're mainly here to do plants and fights. So uh, what was their background? A killer? We just recruited a killer into our midst. That's fine. What killers have ever killed anyone, right? Yeah. Basically nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and make them a bed. Uh, let's see here, hairball. Wait a second. Welcome to the queue. Visit sick people is disabled. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. I never really realized that one. So they can actually doctor people, but they won't go cheer up patients. Whoops. Interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to make, um, we need to make masks and then we'll be on our way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven masks. 
We're gonna do until we have one that is 52 or better, normal or better. Done. We'll go for there. Streams on YouTube, love them. Finally got to catch one live. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for coming in. Been uh, trying to work on YouTube a lot more re uh, recently. In fact, I'm gonna do a RimWorld run specifically for YouTube here soon. Got that in the works, playing in stage. You know, the people just find up standing calling your killers. <laughs> Sad Darkest 2 is the original vision of D. Darkest to realize. Just makes you wonder how Darkest Nation ended up being so wildly different. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah, I hope it's good. We'll see. Hairball the spineless person? Uh, no, that's whoops. That's whoops. <laughs> Flu on Vampiro. All right. So let's have uh, let's take care of. Uh, yeah, we'll use one of the industrial medicines for the first hint. I can use the glitter world though. There we go. Single flu, nice. Nice. I mean, not nice that we have the flu, but nice. It's only one person. Uh, all right, we're ready to link again. So obvious, uh, we'll go up to tier five. Starting to get close to a new tier six. Your sister died. Well, she shouldn't have attacked our colony. I can't be blamed for the things that I've done. You know? She's a little like bullcrap to me. Is there going to be another DLC for RimWorld? We don't know. Yeah, so the history of RimWorld DLC obviously is just royalty, but the interesting thing about royalty is when they were making it, they, the developer was saying, oh, we're working on something, but it's not RimWorld. We're working on something, but it's not RimWorld. And then suddenly they were like, guess what? It wasn't RimWorld. It was a RimWorld DLC. That's a different thing. Also, it's called royalty. Also, also, it comes out tomorrow. So, I mean... The only DLC they released, they literally didn't announce it until like right before they released it. So it looks like they're not done. Uh, the developers have hired new people between Royalty and Now, including recently uh, looking to hire people that were specifically, uh, or that specifically had knowledge about multiplayer games. So they're either working on a DLC that includes some kind of multiplayer level of RimWorld, or they're working on a new game. Um, yeah, I, I, no one really knows aside from them. I think they're probably working on something new, but... Also, there has been, um... It looks like Steam is gearing up for something. Like, if you go in and look at the, like, preloads for Steam, or on Steam for RimWorld, it looks like it's gearing up for either an update or an expansion. Rim 2, Electric Randaloo. <laughs> RimWorld with PvP? <laughs> that would be crazy, yeah. I was thinking more of co-op, but... By the way, ice. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it was really interesting when Royalty came out because it was just like out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. Visibility. That can be very good. Maybe it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but... Ponce's secret. A 41-year-old bodyguard is begging you to... Uh, so, no. <laughs> We're not going to accept that. However, we'll keep that banked. So if there's like uh, some sort of mech raid or something, we might accept it in order for whatever's following him to fight the mechs. And then sometimes, though, you end up with having just two runs of the mechs, but... Gosh, not. Maybe just to trade and all that. 
Yeah, I think co-op room will be pretty cool. I mean, uh, there are mods that already do it fairly well. I've not tried them, but I've heard good things. I've seen people play them, but... Subtle clues as to what kinds of traits the pawn has, at least. Yeah, I mean, it does tell you their job, and so you can kind of guess by their job at least some of the skills they might have, but yeah, it'd be nice for traits too, huh? Like, maybe the way they talk. And we're kind of blasting through this research now that I set it up this way. So, once we have uh, everyone in masks and clubs, I guess we'll head off and try to get that EMI device taken care of at last. All right, uh, do we, we already have this set up over here, right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna copy these so I don't have to worry about redoing this. So we're gonna copy. here that's uh crafted and looks like awesome chair it's pretty good it first style multiplayer pvp experience would be interesting first person to launch off world wins don't see that working in the current real engine though black horribly yeah so i'm really curious what they're going to do let's go ahead, tara welcome in um there's so many options they could do and i would like to see all of those they would have to optimize the game much more than it is which might be very difficult seeing that it's built from the ground up on one core um also a lot of times games that have pause mechanics do not work well in multiplayer. And yeah, you can point at things like, like 4X games, that's a little bit different. Even that, even the ones that 4X game multiplayer with pause or can be kind of annoying in, in ways, especially with random people. So I think it'd be pretty interesting to have a co-op type experience where each person has their own tile and they can, their own tile works with whatever time they're using on their computer, so they can fast forward, pause, etc., at their base. And then if you visit the other person, obviously you move at whatever speed the other person is going. That'd be kind of cool. Because then you could build, you could trade with each other, you could go and help each other out uh, when raids come. It'd be kind of a neat experience. But there's, there's lots of different things. Yeah, like each player gets their own time bubble, yeah. Multiplayer pause is horrifying. Love Solaris, don't like the multiplayer. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Solar is the first thing that came to my mind, too. But, yeah, we'll have to see. Um, it is interesting that they've been hiring for multiplayer, though. So they're either... The, the developers are either working on a new game that contains multiplayer, or they're working on a DLC for RimWorld multiplayer. Those are the options. Otherwise, you know, why would they, why would they be hiring someone for multiplayer? Crazy idea, can't poke holes. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Um... So, some of you might remember Warren, well, you probably don't, uh, but Warren, you stream nightly with RimWorld for like seven to nine hours every night, that's all I played. There at the there before he had to stop streaming, he started doing a little bit of variety, but anyway, he also did No Pause, No Pause Vanilla, and uh, he kept telling me, he's like, man, if they ever make a multiplayer RimWorlds, you and I, No Pause Co-op. And I was like, deal. What happened to Warren? So I'm, I feel comfortable saying this because he put it out publicly. So first off, Warren was streaming seven to nine hours a night, mostly RimWorld. But then uh, his other, his primary job was a dojo. He ran a dojo, he, he and his family did. And uh, they lost the dojo. He doesn't say, he didn't say how, but they lost it. They lost that business. Um, this is a while back. And so he had to find a new job, but he became a cop. So uh, being a cop was kind of dominating his time, right? So he couldn't stream very often, but occasionally he'd get on for a couple hours. And then he managed to finally get a rhythm where he was uh, doing his job as a cop and he was also able to stream RimWorld. And then, uh, turns out he, got, he had cancer. So he started fighting cancer. And uh, if you went to his late streams, you might notice that his head was shaved. Uh, I haven't checked on him in a couple months, so I need to go do that. But anyway, a lot of stuff fell on Warren at the same time. It seems like his family lost their business, so he had to get a job, and then he got cancer. So. Yeah. 
sucks. I need to check in on him, though. So I, I used to host him all the time because I would... He would stream later than me, so my stream would end and then I would end up hosting him. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, he hasn't been on in a while, yeah. yeah. Need to reach out and see what's up. But. Our community grows. Wizard, welcome in. Uh, how are you? Well, well, we're still on run number four by some miracle, but. Uh, Luna Dracona. Thank you for the follow, Luna. Still on run four, believe it or not. It's it's kind of hard to believe because the original colony, we've played almost twice as long. Okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, Warren is such an innocent person, too. I And you might... A lot of people might do this as like a joking or trolling way. But I remember I was there once. Um, I raided him or something. And uh, they were talking about RimWorld and someone said something like, I don't remember what brought it up, but they were like, uh, is that something like BDSM? And, and Warren had no idea what that was. And some people might pretend not to know things like that as a joke or literally just pretend to, but that, that was surprising to me. He was like, no, I don't know what that means. And he had to have them explain it to, to him. And he was like, oh my God, I wish I hadn't have asked. But anyway, yeah, it was always fun. Warren was like, uh, not in a bad way, but very like wholesome. Like a big kid playing rim worlds <laughs> pretty much so, i mean that in the best sort of way you never ask about things we eat on the internet yeah go cats go cleanse this land of the chinchilla menace how are we doing on wood we're finally getting wood cut it seems that's good um once we get all these masks in i think we're all... we'll be good to go never ask just google Let's see, Vampiro has a melee weapon. What's with the wonder events? The joint events day, Panther. An abrasive wimp, slow learner. Man, I really don't want you. All right. Get rid of them. You think it'd be as wholesome that you remember <laughs> yeah, my hentai folder. That's right. Uh hysteric. Okay, we'll name him uh, all capitals so we know that if we get a save quest for them, we will let them go. Oh no, he's getting away. The prisoner is escaping. Quick, someone stop him. Yeah, I figured that's what it. What? Can tie is super wholesome now. <laughs> the urge to Google. Wholesome hentai. <laughs> yeah, right. <sighs> All right. God, I can't wait till we take that EMI device out. You did Google it? <laughs> There's no results. Fashion challenge is not really all that too bad. like the very beginning would be the hardest right like it just makes naked brutality in general start much harder put on instructions so you can get traps that you trade for bow well remember those cats that auto joins turns out we don't have to worry we don't have to worry about them The Chupacobra strikes again. Right. 
might be about time to switch to barracks at this place too. Uh, let's see. That's our only rich soil. There's not, whoa, we have rice planted in some stony soil too. That's not good. That's not good at all. Where are we at here? That's 13. Uh, we, we probably don't need more than two 13s in this one. Something like that. Just extend that wall out a little bit. Come on, Emerald. Come on, Emerald. And that can be the bear cooking, etc. This will be storage and crap. Uh, that'll be fine. Let's go on, Batman. Welcome in. Krispy Kreme IPO today. You getting donuts? <laughs> really? Krispy Kreme wasn't a publicly traded company yet? I didn't even realize that. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the wholesome hentai god list. Kind of the most wholesome of hentai. I get it? God. <laughs> Things rough, you spend a lot of time, dead animals, go up predators, because it takes so long to grow crops. End up using all the mats from the animal, so level up craft eventually. Well established little empire now, I know, can you, I cannot believe this is run four. It's been crazy. Holy Christ, another slaver, what the crap? We got here, we got granite, so go ahead and get this started. Uh, I'm going to do a door on this side and this side. Let's go on planet. We'll go back. <laughs> Still works. Wait for the IPO. It's happened. Gotcha. Uh, in high school, we had um, girls softball team. I don't know why. Anyway, the girls softball team in high school would always sell. Every year, they'd have a Krispy Kreme... Uh, donut sale, five dollars a box, dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. I would I would buy those and just eat the entire twelve like at lunch. Ugh. Great lunch. Fantastic. What's not to love about a three thousand calorie lunch? <laughs> All right, what was this relationship? They're actually going to prepare for a little while. Tribals again, less than earlier? Nope. <laughs> 16 tribals, okay. Should be okay. Oh, they were public before. Not even private. That's interesting. Interesting. Be getting some prisoners out of this one. 16 Travis League title, great world fanfic. Yeah. Uh, we should have basically enough traps to handle this. I think a few of them are gonna get through, but we got an elephant, so they, they probably aren't expecting an elephant. <laughs> what? Elephants don't live in tempered force. They do in room worlds. Well, they don't, but this one does. All right, 
here they come. We don't need everyone, but I'm still gonna grab everyone so I know where they are. Okay, so Muzz, uh, the doctor, we're gonna put you back here. Big one, doctor, back there. Shield belt. Actually, Muzz, you have a shield belt too. I should probably put you up here. So I guess the big one will stay back. Yanni's also a doctor, but yeah, it'll be okay. King Loser, you don't have a melee weapon? Oh, are you? No. Hmm. That's interesting. Interesting. I have to make you one. Swamp Witch either. I think those are some of our newer uh, recruits. Should make a smithing table, I suppose. Also need more steel at this colony. There goes group number one. Uh-oh. Didn't down any of them. <laughs> it's exactly enough traps again. All right. good at melee no so you're gonna be melee experience that's what you're gonna be capture some people whoa muzz well they're dead they are dead did we get that built over there we didn't all right Uh, and we have enough wood to rebuild. Yeah, we need steel. It's colony. We don't even have steel to repair the machining table right now. Not that it really matters, but. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to make a couple clubs. Screw it. Stone blocks or wood. Sure. All right, just make two of those. And then, uh, no, he's repairing it. Stealing a component. Was that our last component? No, there's five more. I'm blind, by the way. Goose! How you doing, Goose? Whoa, look at your shoot. You're only 20 and you have a 14 melee? And you're ascetic? Slow learner is unfortunate, but... Hmm. Aesthetic. 14 melee. It's kind of kind of crazy. Natural meditation. Hard worker, undergrounder with cooking and crafting. That's pretty good too. He's a little old though. Probably just gonna release him. But uh we'll keep an eye on this one down here. If they survive, maybe. Maybe. Alright, we got all of our nope. Not yet. Almost. Almost got all of our mass done over here. Zaman is the one incapable of violence. Uh, couldn't remember. I knew we had one. <laughs> Those are just slavers. Yeah, we got sleep. They'll get it done. Well, Goose is dead. Cool. Easy come, easy go. Uh, let's go ahead and take that roof off there. Houndmaster, a bond forged by battle and bloodshed. 
Damascus. So the first episode of this melee run just went up on YouTube. Rimworld melee only. Nice. I think the run went pretty well. All things considered. Uh, we are low in granite now, so as much as I don't really want to make this out of marble, I'm going to anyway. Uh, so... Well, we have that, too. That should put us at enough to get that one other granite door done, actually. I think. No, no, it won't. Let's see, we got four, eight. Oh, it will. All right. Hmm. For me... Breaking down some of that inner wall too, but hmm. Hmm. oh well, it's fine. Infection. Oh, this guy. I don't care. You can die. Let's go on, Kane. Welcome in. Got to hang out here. Looks like an interesting run. It's been crazy. Yeah, it's been a crazy challenge. Somehow alive though. Kind of, kind of thriving now. Shouldn't say that. Should not say that. All right, let's get this on here. There's no challenge so far, this one? Yeah, probably. Probably this one. And then the 20 year challenge was really difficult as well. Um, even though, well, parts of that one was, were really crazy. If you watch it, it's all up on YouTube. Uh, that was run 16. So, I mean, that's kind of telling right there. It took us 16 attempts for that one. We're only on attempt four of this. Uh, but, yeah, this one has been pretty difficult so far. Probably overall more difficult than that one. But I feel like we'll get this one within 16. So, I think we'll still beat it sooner. Panther fur at the edge of the map. Um. Hmm. Guess we can let some animals go grab that. <laughs> Visitors. So you have roof. I don't want them to roof all this. So let's just uh set this no roof area, please. Flesh. There's a reason there's an open door here. Oh, it's because they were harvesting the trees. Whoops. That's the one he hit. Oops. You're going to be all right. Ah, uh, he's just dead in 11 hours. It's fine. Don't worry about him. We just want to play room roll again. <laughs> Always a good time for rimming. For rim worlds. Oh no, we have a grave right in the middle where our bear's gonna go. I forgot that was there. It's alright. It's cool. We'll just move them. We'll relocate them. Who was that? Right, Knight Fenris. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, Demonith, seven months. Thank you, Demonith. I'm very much appreciated. Thank you for the support. So once we get the barracks set up, we are going to go hit that EMI field. Just deconstruct the grave. Huh? Yeah, but we can't deconstruct the corpse. That's the problem. Sure you can, you can butcher it. Oh uh, yeah, we were gonna work on getting uh, friendly with those guys. Welcome to the queue. 
four visitors. Okay. What's with all the joint events today? Holy crap. This is kind of annoying. I mean, unless they're good, but uh, burning passion animals. I did need another animal person at the other colony. Neurotic. Undergrounder with animals kind of kind of crappy, but man, misogynist. I don't know. I might send them over there because we're probably going to lose some people here soon when we go take that out. Oh my god, I'm probably going to keep you. You're also going to have a minus five like all the time. So he's basically going to have a minus eight all the time. Our community grows. Twelve burning passion animals though. And there's so many elephants to take care of over there. Ugh. God, I'm going to let him join. I don't want to, but I'm going to. Uh, Fire Shadow. Thank you for the follow of Fire Shadow. Welcome. Alright. Alright. You're going to join, but mainly so you can go fight at the other colony. Well, go raise elephants to fight. I guess is the real. It's kind of crazy, all these joint events today. Uh, it's, it's squid. <laughs> Squid, who is um, the Naked Brutality Pond's lover in her last challenge victory. Into the game. All right. Squid, uh, what was your background? Cave Child, also natural meditation. So, perfect to send over to the other colony. I think I'm just gonna, well, we'll wait until the uh, the barracks set up and then we'll send her over, so. Uh, so for now, we'll just throw them on some random schedule. Doesn't matter which one. And for work, uh, they can start working with animals here, even though they're going to be upset about it. Suck it up. There we go. Still alive, Merrick? You are, yep. Yeah. You are. Here you are. Your rival just died, too, so you're happy about that. So, have a good old time. Good old sign. All right, is the new outer wall almost done? Almost. Almost. Two more spots. New grave. Look at that. We can now deconstruct the old grave. <laughs> Same we saw it. You were down to one in each colony, and one was dying. <laughs> it's been crazy. In fact, this colony was down to zero people. This colony sit with no one here for like three seasons. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Uh, but then we had an event where someone with basically no skills was being chased by, what was it 41 raccoons? I was like, if she survives, we'll rebuild. And she survived. So here we are. Yeah, it's been, it's been really insane. Yeah, 41 man-hunting raccoons. Here we are, somehow. All right, Adderall is done. Yeah, yeah, so Hysteric joined, so for anyone that didn't hear the story of Hysteric, this colony sat with zero people here for quite a while, and then there was a quest event where it was like, a 17-year-old girl is being chased by 41 man-hunting raccoons, and I was like, alright, we're gonna take them, and uh, if they survive, no matter what their stats are, we'll try to rebuild. She came and she had like a 1 and 2 and everything. She's actually gotten not decent, but anyway, she was very mediocre, and all that was here at that time was this building. This was it. There's just this right here. And uh, there was a wall here at that time. And I was like, if we can have her survive until the raccoons leave, we will rebuild. So they weren't even able to build traps. So we were like building and deconstructing uh, walls and beds and repairing things and trying to get them to the point where they could make traps. We got there. We had an auto join. It was Ink Boy. Ink Boy showed up. This, uh, whatever, 68-year-old man. And they got in a social fight and he bit her friggin' leg off. Literally, not just a bite, it was gone. Removed her leg entirely. 
And then shortly after that, she got hunted by a panther. The panther bit off the other leg. And so she laid in bed with no legs for quite some time. Uh, we finally got her peg legs on, but now she's missing both eyes and an ear as well. The ear was also eaten by Ink Boy. Ink Boy, long dead. It's been gone a long time. Some strong teeth. You like one punch, Adam? Yeah. Uh, Ken, 26 months. Thank you, Ken. Very much appreciated. I was wondering what people would think of that, uh, that thumbnail. I wasn't sure what to do about the thumbnail, but yeah, if you haven't seen a brand new episode of a RimWorld Challenge, episode one of the Melee Challenge up on YouTube as of about 20 minutes ago, check out the thumbnail. Put her out of her misery. What? She's going to, she has a lover. She's one of the happiest people in here. Check it out. She gets four to seven lovins per day. She can't see what's going on. She's having the time of her life. She's destined for space if she survives. What other great poor pawn. She's had a miserable time though, honestly. It's been it's been sad. Mad alpaca is it just one. Yeah. So we're gonna bring people in. She's having the time of her life. Our, uh, Our community whoa. grows. Whoa, whoa, hey, A-Ram. <laughs> Wait until they were to follow. Do you think her lover is afraid of splinters? Apparently he's not. Apparently he's not afraid of splinters at all. He might have a splinter fetish. I don't know what's going on. Here it comes. Is there some other chat happening too? No, no. Not that I know of. I mean, are you not, are you seeing anyone else's message other than yours? There are other people typing in chat, but can they be the lurk? If you're not seeing other people type, then you might want to reload. But. Read someone else talking about splinters? No, that was me. That was just me. Let's go on. But welcome back. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. All aboard the Carton 3, 11 months. 11 months. It's almost a full year for real. So like all the other days that I say. Uh, I think you curtain three. Very much appreciated. All right, so the outer wall's done, so we can rip down this inside now. Oh, I'm just going to take that out. So we'll redo it with... I'm going to be a little bit careful here, just in case we'll leave that one up. Anyway, I'm going to redo that with uh, marble. 72 French Bulldogs attack. <laughs> Julia Child meals. <laughs> French Bulldogs. And the first time I used one of those uh, additional back. animal mods, Your steadfast we got attacked is by like 60-something uh, like dire wolves. And they wrecked things. There was, a, there was like a huge mech cluster and like a pirate raid happening. And I think those ended up only killing like one or two of the dire wolves. There were some crazy modded animals. And there are some that are way stronger than even the dire wolves, obviously, but... Tribe held in 33 months. Well, that's almost one full year for real. Uh, Tribe Paladin, thank you for the resub. Very much for shooting. Much love to the Tribe Paladin. How are we doing on blocks? We still got plenty. So, let's let them finish this up. Hello, hello. How's it going, Bert? Community grows. Uh, IBK, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I'm just going to delete that for now. So I always think of Age of Empires 2. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, new Age of Empire uh, this year, right? Still, hopefully, I haven't looked at anything in a while, but yeah, I'm gonna be playing some of that. 
for sure. Mm -hmm. I think this fall, if I remember right, quarter three or something. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna have to have a weird thing in our barracks here. We're gonna play it was on console, which is pretty. Hmm. Looks like a new mobile game. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Maybe I won't be playing as much as I thought. Yeah, this barracks is gonna have to have this little spot in it that people are gonna hate. Sorry. Has to be done. I think means that I do want to leave one support here. Uh, we'll see. We shall see. Our past, yeah, we'll see. Why do I have place corners? So a lot of times I just do it. It, it like it probably doesn't matter, but it's yeah, it's a min max thing, not just from uh, materials used, but also. Uh, like labor time and stuff and i know it's kind of like i do other things that aren't that kind of mid-maxi or uh that increase travel time and stuff so anyway it's just a habit from like trying to cut corners just trying to cut some corners literally and figuratively more boulder boulders gate three content coming yeah, that's a weird layer. Easy win for sure, yeah. For sure. For sure. Alright, barracks almost done. Once you get this uh convert over to a barracks, our goal is to go take out that EMI device and uh do that we'll be in good shape so if we take out the EMI device we're gonna start um, looking for mineable areas on this map uh, so we'll put down a well actually we need to make an advanced crafting table first and then we'll start looking at, uh, at scanning and finding mineable patches of plasteel stuff like that and uh, yeah we're actually researching the ship way faster than I thought because we have six people researching Pretty nice. What's with all the slavers too? What the crap? I don't even think we have them. Do we have them? Oh, we actually have money. That's right. Because I, uh, I mined that out. So if they have someone else. We actually buy them this time. What about BG32? Basically, one of your top favorite games of all time. I <laughs> can't take out the EMI now. They've been without power so long, they converted to the Amish lifestyle. They have no buttons. They have cool hats. Thanks, Weird Owl. Weird Owl? No. Owl. Owl. I'm almost ready to get our tier 6 side cast. They're Ludites. <laughs> Alright. We got some of these clubs done. We didn't get cheers done yet. Oh yeah. Forgot we got those. Hmm. Maybe I'll use those. Maybe. For ID uh devices anyway. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is Sorry, greatly seven appreciated. Months. Holy crap. I swear, that's like one full year, man. Thank you, I swear to appreciate it. It's a long time. Much love to I swear. Thank you, I swear. 
All right, structure. Go with a marble door, I suppose. Some of those things have been placed for so long. <laughs> Ever broken my toe? We were still dislocated once the battle is doing the Vulcan salutes in defense when you actually broke. <laughs> uh, not that I know of. Apparently, toes are one of those. Uh, parts of the body that a lot of people will get breaks and uh, they don't ever know. So, I mean, I have like super jammed my toe. I've had a ter toe turn like purple, especially when I was a kid, you know? But not that I know of, no. The Vulcan salute. <laughs> I don't specifically know of myself having broken a toe. Shot off a toe. Blog boot for a while now because it man. How'd you do that if you don't mind me asking? Did you kick your brother? No. <laughs> it's funny that's the first thing that comes to mind though. Alright, let's check these out. It's a little porch. Ow. That sucks, man. Staggerly ugly quick sleeper gourmands. How you doing, McConnell? Pyromaniac. Some people just want to see the world burn. Watch the world burn. Great memory, fast walker, 16 melee, 58. Bad back. But three toes once, didn't know until later when doctor asked you while you broke them. Don't look a bit, they would have just told me to wear Hart's little shoes. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I've heard that from doctors. That, uh, that's one of the things that a lot of people uh, break and they just never know. But they can tell after they've seen them in an x-ray, obviously, they've been broken and regrown. Come back from the ER. Lovely day. Man, yeah, that sucks. Are we dying today? No, we've been going... Today's been pretty... Gleaming endowment. Finn, thank you for showing me your endowment, Finn. Finn, thank you for the thousand bits. That is awesome. Helps out a ton, especially now this is my main gig. Thank you, Finn. I appreciate it. I think we'll be able to cover all this. Well, I don't know. We'll, we won't really know until we deconstruct some of this. So I'm a little worried about right there once this is gone. All right. So next step, we need to open up these walls, get the beds arranged correctly, plant more of the flowers to make this more beautiful. Finally bring in the uh, table and all that good stuff. Yeah. It's... Fittiburg and toes, fingers, not much. Docs do for them. So be careful. Then. Back in, it didn't go. Ugh. Rough. <laughs> the baby elephant, I know. Baby elephant saved the colony earlier, too. Good job, baby elephant. Good job, baby elephant. When that one gets trained enough, we'll uh, we'll name it. Till then, no name for it. All right. Yeah, that does sound painful. Figure you. I actually figured you might have like caught it on a table or something. You know. New lovers. Awesome chair. And the obvious. Nice. Easier to keep lovers happy. Unless one of them dies. A colony in a pod. We'll call Irish and double drop. We, yeah, we, we have, they have an elephant. Look at that. It takes two drop pods, I think, to send an elephant. <laughs> Do you somehow split the elephant in half and 
So you buy a drop pod and it comes out on the other side full. Magic. You're in love, awesome chair. Awesome chair tried to attract the obvious by complimenting his clothes. Obvious responded well and is now awesome chair's lover. All right, it's time, obvious, to have a tier six side caster again. So many good tier sixes. So we get. Toes, Mrs. Lucas, took it upon yourself to go. Vulcan toes the rest of your life. <laughs> Vulcan toes. Tape this, pass the stick, for like a week. Yeah. That's what the doctor does a lot with the, the fingers, yeah. I can't imagine anything more arousing than clothes. Nice shirt. Thanks! Want to come back to my place and get four to seven lovin's? <laughs> I'm in. Without eyes, Elvin can only identify the source of the voice by sound, turning his head toward the south. That's sad. They didn't even splint them or anything. Looks like it's gonna hold. What do you know? Oh. Yeah, I guess that's not more than a 7 L anyway. Let's go on, gamer. Welcome in. Comments here, gamer. I don't want it there actually. So I have to stand there and fight at some point. Just throw it down here. And now, cat pick. Cat pick. Thank you for hanging out while you could. All right, obvious. What'd you get for your tier six? Man under pulse. Do I stream full time? Why, yes. Yes, I do. I've streamed full time hours for like four years. Um, But during that whole time, I've been doing another job. And as of today, today's the first stream that I'm doing without the other job to fall back on. So <laughs> I guess technically now I'm full full time. Animal disease, the plague on a random horse that we didn't like enough to name. Oh no. How will we ever get by? The fullest of times now. Thanks, Fire. Thanks, Bert. It's medical training. That's right. It's going lobster kitty. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to make a another stockpile zone for stuff that we don't need to keep inside. So let's go ahead and clear all. Put this on importance, and we'll do stone blocks. Welcome back. Plasteel. Your steadfast loyalty Steel. is greatly appreciated. Uranium. That's fun. All right. That'll do. That'll do. Lux. Lux, thank you for the reset. Thank you, Lux. Four months. Might as well use your prime. Thank you. Helps out a ton. Counts as a tier one. Financially supports the stream. Thank you, Lux. While their job is in a time sink. Yeah, I've actually been making, often some weeks I've been making negative money at the, at the other job, so. Welcome back. It's probably for the Your best. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Mistaken, they were the resub also. See, mistaken, they were using the Twitch Prime. I've never told anyone this, but it counts the same as a tier one. It helps financially support the stream. Uh, mistaken, thank you. So on Hades, welcome in. Yeah, there's the link to, um, to game guides. Primar primarily room world guides at the moment. All right, let's get this moved. So let's reinstall this. Uh, I'm going to put the table over near the door. So I'm gonna put the beds over this way a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll throw that one in there. Gotta make sure I reassign them to you. subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are building an army. Judas Kane. <laughs> they were the five years old. Thank you, Judas. Thank you, Dragon. Who'd you get? Wolf Slayer, Super Grover, Frackless. 
What's up? Our modest fellowship Soul shape. Tatas. Praise the sun. Uh, thank you, Judas. Thank you, Pound. Man, all kinds of subs suddenly. An army. Uh, thank you, Judas Kane and Pound. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Very much appreciated. Yeah, it helps out a ton. Um, anyway, for anyone, I'll talk about it a little bit. I usually don't talk about it on stream, but uh, I posted much more detail in the Discord if anyone is interested. Maybe I'll make a short video of it or something throw it up on YouTube. Uh, but long story short, for the last four, four and a half years, I've been working on the stream 40 to 50 hours a week usually, sometimes a little bit more. Um, but I've been doing another job at the same time. My wife and I started a business uh, a little over 10 years ago, and it was going well. But right before the pandemic, it was already not doing as well. It had already gone down a little bit. We were still living off of it, though. Uh, and then I guess people had less spare income and whatnot. So it basically went down to near nothing during that. But I've still been working on it. And the last few months or so, it's basically been breaking even and sometimes going negative. So it's been, but I still have put all this time into it. Uh, so we made the decision finally to just get rid of that. Uh, kind of a hard decision. Like I said, I elaborate on all this a bit in the Discord. It's free to join. If you want to go in the Discord, check it out. Um, a new but yeah, so Come that's why I wasn't yourself. here yesterday. We are yesterday I was wrapping some things up with that. Uh, getting the process rolling of zeroing out the business bank account. All that kind of stuff. So, there's no more. Now I'm full full-time. Uh, Ponzi, thank you for five good subs also. Man, thank you, Ponzi, to Asilo Zixlon. Slim Thunder, Fire, Fira, Fira Bunny, Orton, uh, thank you, Pons Inc. Very much appreciated also. Much love to Pons and all these gift subs. Now, more giveaways. Yeah, I gotta set up that marbles thing. Yeah, it's probably for the best though, honestly. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can just make the stream, content creation, YouTube, all that stuff as the only thing we need going forward. But uh, it is a kind of scary thing, you know? All right, Hysteric and Zamana. But thank you guys for the support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for gift subs. All the good stuff, of course, of course. Zamana and Hysteric. So we need another double bed. The new cup. Thank you, Andy. And the game with the Rocket Launch. Is there any sort of clear 100% completion metric for this game? Not really. It's so RimWorld, the creators the developer basically says it's a story generator so grows. his big thing is that a story is told during the game win or lose um most people look at a victory is just make it to the credits currently there are uh three ways to get to the credits you can build a ship and launch it you can travel to the ship and launch it or you can uh have the stellar the royals take you off the planet so that's usually what people look at is seeing the credits as, as in but you can play after the credits as well, so. It's real Robin Hood. That's right. Take those dollars out of Bezos' pocket. And put them in mine. Be gentle when you're putting them in my pocket, though. Uh, comment here, gamer. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, gamer. Yeah, I mean, there's you can make your own stipulations. It's like, all right, I'm going to do a world domination one where I wipe out every settlement other than my settlements. It's possible to do that. Uh, if you do that, you'll only get attacked by pirates after that. Well, better, better or worse? Uh, let's see. It was an awesome share and obvious, right? But, yeah, everyone has their own. Didn't they change it, Finn? I thought it was 14 now as well. We missed rumoring. All right. So, how many people do we have? So we have four, they're in relationships, only three out. So what's our best beds? Good, 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 normal, good, all right. There we go. I don't know, I might be misremembering, but for some reason I feel like, maybe I, maybe I dreamt it, I don't know, but. Wouldn't be surprised either way. It's a bear, so it sucks to live there and be single. <laughs> so 
there's just one bed we can't put against that, so someone's gonna have their own elsewhere. I want to make a bigger table. I mean, we can fit six people around it. I can split their schedules so they don't end up using the same table. I'll make a new one. And we'll move that one to the other side of the base. There it is. Can't wait to see how that EMI device. Holy crap. It's been there forever. Forever. Uh, Vampira, what you up to? Train elephant. Okay. Let's make sure he's not bonding that elephant. See, guys over here just chilling. It's been a while. Uh, oh, right. Empire. So, password. You get a pharmacy colony? No. Uh, I actually had to make a clip on why we have multiple colonies. If anyone's curious, there's a clip now. Well, I didn't make the clip. I, I mean, it's a clip of me. But exclamation base will explain it. Uh, because last stream... I think I literally explained why I had to call in a... I, didn't, I don't mind it, but I got to, to the point where I was doing it like every 10 minutes or something. Probably 20 plus times. So Exclamation Base will tell you more about the uh, second colony. If you're curious. You get stressed out. There isn't some sort of clearly defined perfect point you're building towards. Uh, build towards the credits. How, whatever that... Whichever of the three. So you can even have a defined one when you start. Like, all right. I want to build a ship. So that's your, that's your goal. Build a ship. Launch it. Can you explain hunger? Get hungry, you eat. Unless you ate in the previous hallway and then you can't. <laughs> They're probably not often going to eat all at the same time, but whatever. It's fine. Day lilies make this nice and pretty. We'll see if that's enough day lilies. That would be. Okay. We're gonna have a Bex. Hunter as it pertains to the Shambler. Uh, no, I can't. Having a good day so far? Yeah. A little tired. Yesterday was a long day, but... Base, we'll save the clip later. Oh, yeah. No worries. Uh, how's it going? Del, welcome in. True ending, going to the ship, building a second one, and doing the royal set all at once. On our 20-year run, we did two of those at once. We did the ship launch and the... Um, uh, royalty victory at the same time. That was that was crazy. Hunger. All right, there we go. Now it makes a little bit more sense. I was like, haha, yeah, yeah, pie wash. Let's go along with you, even though it made no sense. Uh, they would probably auto join. We don't want them. Do they have any clothing that can auto join? Nah. Oh my gosh, we're researching the ship, guys. It's happening. It's happening. All right. So I think, um, yeah, it's almost time to go. Not on the ship, but it's almost time to go finally take out this EMI device. It's been there forever. How long has this been going on? Almost two years. Bother to walk to the table if they decide to bite someone in the eye. <laughs> Just going to catwalk. Ice man, welcome in. Launching a ship on both tiles. No, I'm making a third base for a ship. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. Don't tell anyone. It's been a while since Abasia joined. I mean, we had one last stream, I think, right? I don't know. We've had so many join. Hopefully, it's going to be less likely now that we have a higher population, but...
All right, it's Persona Core Offer. Yeah, we'll need that. Whoops. I don't know. Go back. Turkeys. Turkeys, no joke. We had a. Uh, in one of these runs, we actually had. Uh, turkeys take out an entire mech cluster. Like 50 turkeys or something. So the turkeys will actually act as defense for a little while, which is kind of nice, unless we have sappers back there, but. Hello, Hostel, get ready to launch you all three. Shift Hostel Arc for the double launching. Maybe. Not in this run, though. No. We already have enough going on in this one. Tag turkeys. Let's go ahead and slim thunder. Welcome in. All right, what's this up to now? Very impressive. Nice. Okay. This will be the real prison now. So let's go ahead and Our community uh, turn off sewing for that. And I think we're gonna, what bed is that? Normal bed, put this one in there as well. And we'll use this as uh, a storage, another storage area. Maybe eventually cook in there, we'll see. Uh, Imped Rob, welcome in Rob. PC, you welcome back. Who's the best animal tank? Thrumbo, but elephants are really good. They're are probably second, yeah, in the base game. Elephants are crazy good. Elephants are like 600 or 700 wealth, and uh, they can solo, uh, yeah, you know, like they're around 600 baseline, yeah. They can solo multiple enemies. It's kind of insane. The turkeys. All right, while we're being protected by turkeys, um, my daughter just got up. I'm gonna check on her really quick. So just, uh, you guys can just not let me die, all right? That's all I ask. Just in case, we'll throw some elephants over there. Be right back. Yeah, elephants are really good at tanking. You guys got me? All right, thank you. I'll be right back. Drop hydrate. Got your Krispy Kreme shares? Buy donuts this weekend? Nice. Nice. What did they, uh, what price did they launch at? The curiosity. Krispy Kremes? It was 17. Good job, guys. Defending these turkeys while it's gone. Thank you. Saying back to the side city, you dealt with him. Good job, chat. Good you guys. Fantastic. 
I'm, I'm also going to try this out, probably. Uh, I'm still wondering if the Persona Core quest is easier if you... Uh, if you do the quest from a lower wealth colony. Charge 15.5, gun at 16.2. Turkeys. Come on, Turkeys. Let's get out of here. We can let those cats roam and eat. Oh yeah, we still have a rhino. Forgot about him. Uh, barracks is up and it's very impressive. So I think we might be ready to go attack. Spires in 15 days. Should I wait for you to get over your dead sister? That's the question. That's the question. So we're gonna move this table over here so that uh, if they need to eat after uh, meditating, they won't eat without a table. The table is too long, too far away. I think it was, was what, 32 tiles from a chair, something like that, as the bird flies, like straight line. Donut shop worth three billion. It's going radar. You still live, yeah. Currently being uh, visited by some turkeys, but uh, thanks, radar. I've, I've had a lot of good luck in this run too. Well, a lot of bad luck too. Good spread. Don't wait. Just be the on the middle breaks. So who are we taking? Zabana is incapable of violence. Hysteric will slow us down too much. So those two are staying behind. That leaves us with five to go. Uh, there's five pirates there. Five pirates. We don't know what kind of weapons they have. We don't know if there's turrets as well. We will take an elephant with us too. So five people and an elephant versus five people. Watching a special on the history of sugar and how it drove colonization. This is crazy. All right. So once that EMI is taken out, if we can do so, I guess we'll throw up a um, geothermal there, get, get power at this base. And then we need to just get the ship done. Get the research for the ship done, I should say. Hmm. Man, this is going to be dangerous. Pierre doesn't have any gear. Like, no clothing at all. Do we have any even crappy clothing over here? Uh, yeah, there's pretty crappy clothing. We have this set up. Should probably start growing uh, double strand again. Honestly. Let's go on. Zan, welcome in. Are these turkeys almost done? Good lord, man. They are relentless. Turkey burgers. Well, so far, all but one has 
insta rod well two of insta rod from scarlet three keep finding new ones <laughs> Oh, we're... Oh, God, it grew again in this poison circle. Oh, no. Maybe they want to talk turkey. Well, I think they're too jive for that. <laughs> A dog among turkeys. Yeah, the anima tree just keeps spawning over here. I could destroy this, but the problem is, if I do that, a, a worse one could fall closer to the base, so... Oh, well. Apparently every uh, two to three seasons, we just get an anima scream. I think we're ready to go. I don't know. It's scary though. Um, Is there anything that we can easily get some meat from, make a little extra pemmican before we go? there i yeah i was thinking about it yeah but the thing is we have walls here and here and here and here and here so i don't, I don't know what i'd have to do exactly to make it way less likely to spawn in this circle maybe just put it's probably gonna spawn down here just put like a random piece of wall throughout this area and hope it spawns in here that'd be awesome spawn up here we take advantage of it Use a psychic shock lance on a caravan animal. It's instant minus 200 goodwill. <laughs> mm -hmm. Might try that at some point. Hasn't been a big issue yet, but we won't be able to destroy it. Yeah. At the moment, no one's going to destroy it. You test it out for science just to see how much goodwill you would lose. All right, the turkeys are finally about to head on out. I think we're gonna do it tomorrow. It's true, unless something happens to the person over there building a wall. Met cluster. Eight point one days. All right, let's go take care of this EMI. Build the wall. <laughs> well, I have flashbacks. All right, let's do it. Vampiro, you're gonna hate these clothes, but sorry, you need a little bit of protection at least. So everyone's going aside from Zamana and Hysteric. Oh, what a terrible colony they're gonna. Like if if this team fails, colony left here is gonna be awful just probably dead honestly all right i'm sure they'll be fine what's the worst that could happen ambushed on the way that basically never happens <laughs> well i'm not gonna talk about any political stuff it's one of the very few rules here because it's so divisive uh so everyone aside from hysteric and Zamana. Um, which elephant do we take? This one. Bolt Goods Trader. Should probably have made them uh, bed rolls to take with them, but nah, they're fine. Bed rolls. Bed rolls, these guys. Uh. All right, here we go. Figure out exactly how recreation works in caravans. I just usually throw a pole with them in our chest table. Yeah, from unless it's changed, they will use it when they do their auto camp. Yeah, 
So I usually just throw a chess table or something like that in there. Kind of like how if they have bed rolls when they uh, when they do their automated camp during the night, it'll count as them having slept in a bed roll rather than on the ground. But I understand it still works like that with uh, recreation too. Uh, this is gonna be scary times. Do we have a shield belt on someone? We do. Obviously, has a shield belt. That's good. He has the side casting too. Um, back in invisibility, manhunter pulse. So hard to deal with that wall, so. Yes. Godspeed, Kevin. Good lord. Uh, you guys stay inside the walls during this, because. If anything happens while they're gone, you're probably dead. Just don't don't want to alarm you, but if anything happens, you're dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the one wall that wasn't in the zone. You may go anywhere within the walls aside from this one this one spot. Why? Why can't we go to that spot? We do not speak of it. All right, we need to pop this back open. Uh, the turkeys are starting to go off the map, but if a raid happens, uh, we don't want them to start breaking through walls. So there we go. That'll do. If the turkeys are completely gone. We'll go back out again. Food's looking good. All right. Five enemies. We're hoping they're all melee. Tortoise Revenge? What do you mean revenge? Oh, okay. That's what they... <laughs> they were shooting at turkeys and hit a tortoise. Wow, good job, guys. <laughs> chickens? Oh, do I have time to trade for chickens? Skinner? That challenged a lot of caravanning to dump well, keep them happy. Those brief caravan trips is important. Yeah, it is kind of interesting. I, I played around with one of those um, runs where you uh, are nomadic and I, I didn't, I don't know, I just didn't care for it. Like we do a lot of things that are difficult, but I still, the challenges that we do, I try to keep them to where like, I still like doing it. So it doesn't become a chore to try to get done. I just didn't like that one very much. Maybe because there was a lot of waiting around. Um, all right, so we're probably gonna buy chickens for meat shields. Is there extra cloth? It's random leather. Finally dump a bunch of this crappy clothing. Gotta hurry, our other caravan's gonna arrive soon. So, might just dump what we can and then... Ugh. All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, do you guys got components? You do. All right, let's do that. And then uh, they're still there. We'll trade some more. Wait, who's running away from something? Come on. Scared of a turkey. Why is there shooting? Whoa. Guys, I don't know if you're aware, but this is a melee only run. Oh no. That's so bad. Normally this would be nothing.
on, guys. They get, uh, they should be getting patched up on this. All right, uh, cats back to unrestricted, rhino to animals. These two can go to animals, these two inside the walls. So we gotta bring these back and let them heal up. Uh, obvious, what's going on with you? Yeah. Then we'll have to carry him back out again. Uh. Better you get intended to. Okay. Well, that sucked. An ambush and a raid. Okay. Uh, let's finish trading with these guys now. We're on the way back. Elephant, do something. I know the caravan animals, even if they're trained to attack, work really oddly on those, those maps. I don't know why. Sucks. All right, we'll buy a few chickens. Uh, I think that's all. It's all in Sunland. Interesting. Smoke pack. So, pot pack, right? Hmm. I think I'm gonna grab that. Alright, that's good enough. <laughs> Well, that trip didn't go as planned, but hopefully we can go almost right back out. We'll just get home, get healed up, then head back out again. These guys actually have more than enough wood now, finally, so I'm going to stop. Ambushed again? They're, they might be screwed. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. I think they're screwed. If I can make it to the boomalopes with Manhunter Pulse, like maybe, but then we have to finish the boomalopes. Christ. Two ambushes on the same caravan. That sucks, man. Gone. Uh, Bex, thank you for the subscription. Bex, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Very much appreciated. Slow to Bex. Well, two ambushes on the same caravan feels bad. Now this colony is just super screwed. We lost one with elephants. Yeah, that's really unlucky to get ambushed twice on the same caravan trip. Let's go. They make it back alive. That's crazy. Crazy. Now this colony has like next to no one. <laughs> But as long as Hysteric is still alive. Man, that's really, really bad. Um, so now we have no one to handle. Let's wait. Zamana's got a seven. They can kind of handle the animals. So now we need to send someone else over here to help. Plop them down. Can you see ambushes? Yeah, I guess so. I, I mean, I didn't expect two ambushes. I think that might be the first time I've ever had two in the same... Same small trip. Like, they were only gone for two days. Got ambushed twice. 
crazy. With guns, no problem. We take no damage from either of those, but oh well. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. It's good to see you. That's right. Uh, ZB, thank you for the Switch Prime also. Thank you, ZB. For three months. Much appreciated. So we're going to have to send someone over there. What do we need? Handling and plants, most, mostly. Man. Got two people that are doing handling over here right now. Muzz and Merrick. Merrick actually has handling and plants. So Merrick might end up going. Breezy has handling and plants, so he's like the most um, similar to Vampiro that we lost. Breezy, do you currently have You have no lovers or anything here? Uh, mm. Man, we lost our tier six Psycaster again. So I had to offload a bunch of pawns of the main one. To Maybe recruit people easily again. <laughs> That's true. They're not, they're lost, dude. They're not dead, so we'll probably get, uh, means to get the back. Just really sucks. Very unlucky. What happens? Uh, we got, our caravan got ambushed twice. Twice. So. Hmm. So I'm thinking we send Merrick, what's his? Yeah, I think we just, Merrick's probably the best one to send. All right. Merrick on to colony number three. Don't need to take anything else with us. Oh yeah. On the same sleep schedule. Uh, there we go. Same schedule as Hysteric. Well, the couple survived. Merrick, you're going to be handling the animals predominantly, growing otherwise. All right. That'll do. Yeah. It's bad we didn't have like any kind of armor, plate armor, or something. Oh, the elephants are eating the cotton. Whoops. Hey, baby elephant. sucks so now we have this uh colony here with twenty six thousand wealth and only two people that can fight growing way too much food now off there. well they are gonna be able to recruit faster and we got this mech cluster that's gonna be popping up soon pikeman this is just pikeman Lancer Scyther. Yeah. It's not, not a bad one. Merrick, get back. Buy eggs, make pasta dough to make spinach and ricotta ravioli. Homemade ravioli. Sounds good to me. Yanni insult is free. Yeah, we're gonna have quite a few breakdowns now. Because the oh, comes five loss. I guess I can go ahead and start planning this too. We don't have a lot of blocks, so we need to bring some blocks in and cut those, and then uh, we'll use those blocks to make those walls to try to force the animatry. Not spawn in that circle again. Uh, PTR. Thank you for the follow. Man, that sucks. Okay. 
Okay, we'll just uh, widen that back there a little bit. Stream. Oh, God. You were... You were still drafted when we were doing the trade? I thought the doing the trade would actually stop from being drafted. I need to remember to check up there, though, the icon. Whoops. Sorry about that big one. Yeah, come to sleep before you have a breakdown. Like, wait, why do we have an extreme break risk? Man, that sucks about this to you. We're better off just uh, going to make it a different colony, honestly. Like, just moving this jungle when it's not like a remarkable tile. Just move it over here. We've been fine. Two ambushes on the way, though. Really have accounted for that. I guess next time though we'll uh, we'll bring a spike trap per person to throw down. So hopefully we can at least kite. Man, that's crazy. It's bad. All right. Also, we need to turn the meals down now. We don't need to make quite as many. Uh, we made chili yesterday, so we're having uh, chili again tonight. So we made a big thing of homemade chili. Some leftover chili tonight. Man, that feels bad. Yanni and Raider. Yanni called Raider a goose. Definitely worth fighting over. Probably just get eaten by animals, but with a god and sal salad, almost where that salsa is like salsa and ravioli. What is rakes? Like I said, the only good side of this is that they're still alive. We'll probably get ransom requests here pretty soon. Quest to save them, etc. I don't know that we're going to be able to save them. Uh, I could have just built drop pods and drop there, but like, still might be what we should do. We had to build five of these probably drop, and then we should be good on at least one ambush, but aristocrats in danger. How long till that wakes up? Six days. Hysteric. I know you don't have any eyes. But that's no excuse for not being able to see what you're doing. Well. Infection. Rainer bit you on the foot? Rest that. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll we'll do herbal medicine going forward. So we gotta keep an eye on Raider and Yanni. Raider just got bruises. Apparently in darkness. Yes. Little bit of darkness, no eyes. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Been. Transfer pod crash. Mindy. A nimble wimp. <laughs> it's hard to hit him, but when you do, they go down. Greedy uh, doesn't work with barracks. 
Should save them for the rep. They're so far away, though. Visitors. Caribou. Doro and whatever your name is. Yolia. Yolia. Alright, outright kill, yeah. They would yeah. They would dodge and they'd get hit like once and they'd go down. Looks like we're beating that pretty handily with that industrial medicine. Raider, you probably need fed, I'm guessing. No, you're good. Right. Just finish building it. You're already here. Okay. Pause these treatments. Just waiting for somebody to kill this base down. It still really sucks. Can't believe we lost all those guys. When did we lose? Six people or five and a elephant or something? Ugh. It's mono the flu. So it begins. So it begins. We have no doctors here anymore. Alright, we need to send somebody over there that can uh, actually do doctoring because make sure we're not dead. Can't stay. <laughs> do anything we're hanging out. Or stopping it in rather. Not dead, just close. Uh, I thought about sending a Reezy. I think I'm going to. Hang on, let me check something here. Handling. We send Reezy. Yeah, we still got other people. Could send Squid. They're not as good at doctoring. Yeah, Reezy it is. All right, Reezy, going to the jungle. I'm sorry. Has to be done. All right, it's mana. We need you back to uh, put you on rest. Bed rest. There we go. Corpse Obsession, Swamp Witch. Come on, Swamp Witch. Don't be this way. Who are you digging up? Who is that? Plank? <laughs> Whoa, she didn't throw him on a table. Surprising. All right, what's our tin quality there? 21%. Ugh. I'm gonna use one of those glitter rolls next time. Plank. <laughs> Man. So, I'm kind of on the fence what to do about that EMI now. Do we just move? Maybe. We could, um... I mean, this base is nothing remarkable, right? It's just a outer wall and a, and a barracks. So, we could literally just move over a couple tiles. Say, screw it. Can they set up more than one? Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Will we get ambushed again? Twice again? Yeah, I guess they're just dead. Can they set up more than one EMI off map? I don't know, actually. It's all the back problem, too. It's true. The problem is, we need another builder. So I'll probably wait until we get some more recruits at the least. And then what I might do is just uh, mine the compact machinery and steel that's nearby and then head over to another tile. Because this, I mean, this is just a random flat jungle. So, yeah. yeah. Just settle down here. Anywhere, right? 
but I'm actually wondering if... Like, I know you can have more than one off-map thing set up. I wonder if you can have more than one EMI set up. If not, that'd be excellent to do. Joy! Thank you for the thousand bits celebrating first YouTube vid in the series. Income. Uh, thank you, Joy. How you like that icon, by the way? The thumbnail. Joy, thank you for the thousand bits. Yeah, I think I will do that. Uh, as soon as we get someone that's good at building. Also, if we get a ransom, we have enough to, to buy the person back. So I'm waiting on that as well. I'm not too concerned with the mechs. I don't think we need to leave in that amount of time. Like one pipe at a time. Yeah, I just need to stay in pot range, yeah. I mean, this thing isn't even turned all the way up. So we could we could blast it way further. Yeah, don't no, we wouldn't move too far away. So just off that edge, I think. Minimum number of tiles to move. Just right down the road. Right there. <laughs> Slate and marble. Marble is pretty. Slate's fast to build with. Granite and slate. Sandstone is really fast to build with. Granite and marble. It's kind of my preferred duo. Granite for the H. Murderous Rage. God. Who had the infection? 76, yeah, they're fine. Flash your... Nah, let them deal with that. Oh, you're still on self tinge from a long time ago. All right, Zamana, how you doing here? Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is they're greatly it appreciated. Fairly, Might end up having to uh, change how Reezy set up here. Let me break down. Ah, uh, Doot. Doot, they were the resub. Two more. Thank you, Doot. Very much appreciated. Was that within four tiles? The granite marble? I don't know how it will consider it. Because one, two, three, four, five. But, yeah. We'd have to see. All right. Crazy. I have nine meals left. Wreckage hmm. hmm. Explorer. What a sad time. Sad, sad times. I have to keep an eye on food there. Raider, what happens to you during that? Ah, uh, you lost a toe. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. How many more days till we're over the uh, columns? Mm -hmm. Three and a half days. Are you selling pallets of 3080s, 370s? Others? Car and 100. Wait, wait. What? <laughs> so they're stopping mining? But anyway. How do you get your hands on one of these? <laughs> Let's go by the way, Sam. I didn't see that. Yeah, that's crazy. All oh, right. Yeah, I did see that, but I didn't see the the selling thing. It's interesting. Oh, Zaman, how are we doing here? Oh, you're going to have this for a long time. You're barely beating it. Happy Canada Day. Just like, why is this friggin' turkey inside the walls? Whoops.
Still very impressive. Okay. There's some good tin to 119. An Uncle Sam outfit for such a day? No. <laughs> no plans to. Don't believe I will. Uh, let's burn some weapons. these bows and crap there we go this game if it's your first time playing it uh it can be pretty overwhelming but i will say there's lots of different difficulty levels even like a builder level where you can just work on learning the basics of like rooms and walls and crops and stuff like that so not only are there tons of different difficulty levels baseline but there's also custom settings so you can turn things down that maybe you're having a hard time with and turn them back up as you learn so even though the game can be really brutal there's so many different options that um, you can ease into it at whatever speed you would like to. Uh, it also does have a built-in tutorial, which is decent. Teach you kind of the, the ropes of the base game. So it's one of those games that's it's easy to pick up and play. You will die, but a lot of the game is about losing and dying and this and the story that gets told while that's happening. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to get into, hard to master. Tape before, so you're still deciding. If you played Prison Architect or any other game that's like a, a manager type game, then coming into this will be much easier for you. It's like a combination of uh, Dwarf Fortress and Prison Architect. So, yeah, having some some experience in Prison Architect will definitely, some of it will definitely transfer over to here. Uh, seven Psych, they will follow Psych. 40 grand first. They're only selling them as pallets, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Man. Can't believe we lost all those people. It's really, really rough. Uh, down to three meals. I don't really want to get them up to make... I mean, they're ahead by 8%. Hmm. All right, Derek, I'm gonna need you to make some food really quick and then we gotta get you laying right back down. I mean, I could force other people to make it, but. Also, I need to make these cats eat out of here. Don't want them eating any of the meals. All right, let's be the last one to have you do. Then we'll be good for a few days. Eat that. Lay back down. Can you be tended to yet? Can. Alright. Freeing gods. Fly because you need to know. Could have mining. Doesn't use. Just be anymore. Find them. Shove that in their face. <laughs> yeah, I think we had a conversation before about how people get, like, fanatical about things you get something wrong or you're you're out of date on something i get angry with you rather than just talking to you about it <laughs> flooded with the cards yeah i would still even one of those that's been uh used like that like crazy levels i'd probably still buy one for like 200 bucks if i need something like that in the stream pc right now Town also bans. Civil conversation on my internet? No, thank you. Let's go to Arc Shift. Welcome in. Oh, Zalo. Zalo, Zalo. Come on. Why? Why do you gotta do this? Breezy, I didn't get you a weapon as the other colony before you came. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. So I kill her. Hershey! Hershey, they were the five months. Think Hershey? 
Ross and Shadow Points. Lots of fun the colony. Uh, I think, yeah, we were talking about it earlier. Hopefully, hopefully it's good. Obviously, I really, really hope so. I'm worried about it, but. Uh, was she any good? Not really. Hey, Hysteric, you want to beat this person to death? For eating our rice? Thank you. Distance. You really dumb. Just recently, could really risk this. It. Power just went down by. Holy crap! Two to four new generation. Dude. What the crap? That's crazy. That was only one province. Jesus. <laughs> Doesn't even seem real. Generous bestowal. It's effective inspector. Four hundred bits. Thank you, inspector. One of those nights, celebrate the new chapter. Thank you, thank you. I'm mm -hmm. trying not to do this, but we end up putting down an electric smithy and uh, actually making some like plate armor and stuff before we go on to the on another caravan. Imagine getting beat to death by a blind person. No, like so. Remember all those joint events earlier? Nice to have some of those again. Not a beige though. It's been a little while since we had a beige joint. Which I'm all right with. So good on food at the moment. This mana is 61%. Looks like they're going to survive. I'm down on herbal medicine now. Hmm. Yeah, our research is going really well today. We've all, we're almost through the through the two biggest research um, as far as time goes for the shit. Now that we'll be able to build it. Quite a while. Man. I wonder if we would have been fine if it sent everyone on that caravan. Probably not. Well, Zamana can't attack. Steric. Uh, I mean, they can flail at someone, so. Probably lost everyone. Machine Persuasion to be used to convince Mex. Leave it alone. I wish. Three more days the mech cluster activates. It's just a tiny one though. You know what? We haven't had any uh, power cells either. Let's run. Thirty-five million graphic cards. That's insane. Surprise! Like, yeah. Well, you are in a relationship with flesh person, so you're like his. Uh, you know, his happiness beacon. <laughs> but. All right. Hmm. Do I want to make the spithy already? Uh, I mean, we don't really have anyone to craft that stuff now anyway. We used to. I'm really hoping we get... What? You're already up? Oh, don't worry about me. Just crack spine. I'm, I'll be all right. They're a wimp. A nimble wimp fast walker. Cracks. What's with up with nimble wimps today? Yeah, that's insane. Close to 60 million video cards in that province. We can just break those down, see why not. I think Wimps are bad, you lost runs because you go down instantly. Yeah, I usually only take them if they're uh they're extremely good for other things, like not as a combat-oriented pawn, definitely not as like a frontliner. 
Yeah, we're getting some like pain stopper, yeah. But I usually don't don't mess with them either. Alright, we gotta get Zamana up, make some more food. Oh, they're fine. We can turn them off bed rest now too. Well, the good news is, since we lost so many colonists, the next raids will be really easy. Yeah, a lot of them aren't as bad as they used to be. I still really hate Gourmand, but when you get to the point where you can, yeah, give them different stomachs and things like that, it's not quite as bad. Until that point, they eat three meals a day instead of two, which is pretty annoying. But not just because of the extra food that they eat, but also travel time there and unhappiness to being hungry, malnourished, whatever, you know. So many things to learn today in chat. How does crypto mining work? What is hentai? Are we googling one of those things? <laughs> um, chat will teach you. Gourmand, torture artist, the dream. Torture artist is so good. Hentai safe to Google. Swamp Witch. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage, Swamp Witch. They bit half of her head off? What was this about? Yanni called Swamp Witch a llama. Maybe that was a compliment, you don't know. Uh, Wonder joins. Why is why are they joining this colony and not the other one? Alright, you better be good. We need someone that's good for all of our losses. Jogger's good, Miss Andrews kinda sucks, and Night Owl's kinda whatever. Not very good. Welcome they can fight. Back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. I might just need to grab some people that can fight and send to the other colony though, honestly. Do doctoring. We're gonna lose more taking that out. I'm a llama? <gasps> someone ban Ricks. Take his sword. Ah, uh, Banana. Ten months. Thank you, Banana. Bananas go moo. Give me the resub. Very much appreciated. Hmm. You feel naive. It's an interesting feeling. Uh, let, let's just say it's, it's adult content cartoons. <laughs> That's how we'll put it. Adult content cartoons. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I want them, though. Inclusive child. They do have natural meditation. Eventually, they get their animals up high enough to be assistance over the colony. Man, I should probably just take them. Or we would feel completely overwhelmed in this chat, yeah. <laughs> uh. Man. I think I'm just going to. I think we just need, we need more bodies over there. We're gonna caravan again, then we're gonna lose that caravan as well. You'll see. You'll see. It'll be fun. God, I don't want this person. All right, we're gonna take him. Don't want them? Let's take him. It's Rakes. Welcome to the colony, Rakes. Congratulations. Condolences. Sure you live a long, prosperous, prop, prosperous, prosperous life here. Nine Owl Jogger. Send someone else over there, like King Loser. Maybe. Maybe. What, what were their, your guys' backgrounds? King Loser does not have natural meditation. Rakes does. All right, we're gonna send Rakes over to the other colony. Uh. Get you a random weapon. There you go. Can't believe we lost so many people today. Jesus. Oops. Let's go on, baby carrots. We're good. What a twink was? 
No, no, no. It was that I had a different definition from it. So I was using the twink definition from, like, video games. You know? I knew what it was. Just not that that definition. Not, not the other definition. But yeah. That was interesting. Really don't want this person. Alright, let's take him. Who is he? He's a rakes. Fitting. <laughs> Alright, rakes. So... We're basically here to fight and clean. We can also have you do planting. Not good at it, but you can get better at it. Uh, in animals. So. This should be all right. Our community grows. Yeah, that's all right. We got a lot of stuff planted anyway. That'll be fine. We'll have his own bed here. All right, uh, hopefully we can get some prisoners out of this. What kind of raid is this? Should be pretty small. They're attacking immediately. Multiple angles. Appear to be unusually clever. It doesn't matter. And we got these guys here to help us, so whatever. Dog, what are you doing? You kill that guy. Uh, zero. I think we're the fall of zero. Yeah, look at this. Two, two, let's see. Nine. Ah, it's 13 instead of like 16, so it's, it's a little smaller, but not much. Almost no one knew the definition. A lot of people did. People that play uh, MMOs and stuff mainly, I think. It's just a word that's always, in, and apparently it was before uh, like WoW and stuff too. can't see. Are you in the colony? No, we're not. Use it in path, twink gear for leveling. Yeah, yeah, it's just a common thing. In video games, it means basically uh, using Giving good gear to characters that normally wouldn't have it in order to make their progression faster and easier. So like, giving low level characters lots of the best gear for their current level. try to grab as many as we can because we gotta replenish we lost five people earlier hopefully one of these are decent um only one of them got down so maybe we actually go fight those ones they already broke out yeah we're not gonna catch them so we don't have guns all right let's capture this guy hopefully he's good and let's finally kill this freaking dog I, it's a person, by the way. It's not an actual dog. There we go. Dog's finally dead. All right. Dead in two hours. Let's have someone tend to you and let's check you out here. Careful shooter. Doesn't matter. 12 in melee. 33 years old. Great memory. Can of interest. Not really very good. So we'll end up releasing them. It's unfortunate. Were there any more downed up here that were fighting the other guys? I don't think so. Got some stuff from this though. All right. 
back to work. Animals, back to animal Welcome zone. To okay. Okay, meditate. Well, you, I, probably, yeah. Tribal background. Wow, all you guys are idle over here. You're gonna use PETA, but it's person. Sorry. You don't care about people. What traits are no-go for you? What's your take on Sandra Sanja's ugly crew breathing? So they, all those cause social issues. So it just depends, like, you can, it, it just depends on the pawn himself. So it's not like a hard pass. It's not like, oh, they're Misandra, so I'm absolutely not taking them. It, with those ones, it depends on their other stats quite a bit. Tiberius, let's go Jamie, welcome in. Humans are animals too. Kato and the horses, a thirty, a pack of thirty-seven man-hunting horses. Huh. We might take it to see how he is. And if he's good, we keep him. And if he's not, we let him die. Although he's probably not going to make it to the base before the horses. His horses turns out are pretty fast. <laughs> he only has an hour to make it to the base. Um. What was his? A counselor. Nah, I'm probably not going to do it. I'll leave this quest here for the six hours in case we have something else hit. And I want to bring in the horses to take care of it, but Sonica, welcome in. How's the game going? It's been pretty rough. We lost five people. So we, we finally got a caravan together to go take care of the EMI device. They got ambushed by, uh, by animals, like nine deer or something, which normally would be easy to take out uh, with five or six people with guns, but we didn't have it. So we had a lot of people downed. So... Uh, we were only a couple of tiles away from the base, so I decided with how many people we had hurt and down to come back to the base. And then we got a second ambush on the same caravan. So the caravan got hit by animals once, everyone was hurt, and then we got hit by pirates. And then the pirates downed everyone and uh, captured them all. So we lost, uh, yeah, we lost five people. None of them are dead as far as we know, but it really sucked. Like this whole colony. So now we've uh, put people from the other main colony into this one to help it by. But uh, I think what I'm going to do as soon as we have... Do, wait, did we get another good builder? Yeah. So I, I'm thinking what I'm going to do here Welcome is actually to caravan to a third tile. Abandon this one. There's nothing, like, super important here. Like, this is just a kind of normal average jungle base so what i might do is um just move out of the emi range and build a new one a new base on a new tile take the animals all colonists with us uh there is a met cluster down here so unless we leave like right now we're gonna have to deal with that at some point maybe maybe we just go i'm thinking i mine the combat machinery and we go hit up a new jungle mount C-37 would just kill you in this challenge. Oh, the D uh, the horses? We, we can just close the doors. If the manhunters, they wouldn't be able to get in. It would kind of be uh, a defensive layer almost, but the problem is the other guy getting here before they... Uh, before the horses do. Which is probably gonna happen. Yeah, that many horses, uh, finding them would not be good. Are you talking about the exploit, the corner punch exploit? No, I'm not going to use that. Because I'm pretty sure we could just win the run. It would be so much easier to use that. So, but it's, it's pretty, it's like beyond cheese. But use it if you want. I'm not going to use it. At least I'm saying right now I'm not going to. If we get to like 20 or something, temp 20 maybe we'll have to. What's the exploit? So if you have a corner like this and you put a door there and you hold that door open, beyond cheese, blue cheese, if you hold that door open, things will be able to attack from this side through the wall, but not from this side. So what you do is you make like, uh, you can make it more advanced, but let's just say you have like a tunnel like this, right? 
You have a tunnel like this? And you put doors throughout. Eh, it's too wide, but... Anyway, you get the idea. Whatever. Anyway, point is you have the doors on that side of it as long as you want. And you can have your people stand here or animals stand there and they attack through the wall without being able to hit, get hit back. So you can, and you can pile lots of animals. So for instance, I could put like 50 elephants in this square. And every time an enemy walked into that tile, if the elephants trained to attack, elephants insta kill it. Centipedes, anything. Bam. With, with no recourse. So, yeah. It's a pretty big bug. I'm surprised they haven't fixed it. It's been in the game for a really long time. But we're gonna not too down. Obviously, it doesn't really help you too much against uh, things like drop pods and, and whatnot, although you can put corners throughout the base. Um, it's a feature. No, it's definitely a bug. Tynan, who doesn't even like you. Tynan doesn't even like you making enemies come into a single area in your base uh, for a kill box. I'm sure he's not. It, that has to be an interaction with something that's hard-coded into the game. Something that's really difficult to change or else he would have definitely removed it by now. From Beyond Meats. Hamster bag. Thank you for the follow hamster. Uh, so you stack dozens of things there. It's like a flashbang. Yeah. But it's crazy. It's going to ham hamster bag. That Frinker's uh, badge always makes me think of a cowboy hat. Don't know why. All right, Yanni, you gonna be okay? You're fine. <laughs> well, there goes the cotton. Oh well. I could just set up their uh, work order to prioritize cutting over planting, but oh well. Too late. I already held the shift button too long. We're in deep. Look, what do you remember? Oh, potato. Twelve fifty-four. Thank you, Jamie. Over hundred already. Never used YouTube or streams before about the game. But now you're here. Game studio. Yeah. Yeah, not uncommon for... It seems like everyone that gets you, our uh, room world ends up at least getting hundreds of hours into the game. Oftentimes, thousands. Before you even know it, too, it's like... Oh, yeah, I think I played room world for, like, 40 hours. You go check Steam, and it's at, like, 400. And you're like... 400? No, that can't be true. Room world is a time machine. All right. How long is the max? 11 hours. Switch is using up a lot of your phone battery. Like more than usual. All right, are we finally over the death of those four? Oh, not the death. The, the loss of those four people. Uh, Yeah, aside from the ones that were really close friends and whatnot. Good. So on, uh, now 300 hours. Thanks, yeah. That's how it goes. That's the way. Yeah, I'm really thinking we'll just abandon this after this uh, mech thing is taken care of. I mean, we could just head out now. Seven hours, we could get on the road fast enough. The question is, do I want to take a lot of this with me? We have elephants and whatnot. I think I am going to just abandon this base, though. Like, dealing with the EMI thing has been such a pain. We've lost so many people. It would be so easy if we had guns. Uh, I mean, that's obviously the challenge, right? If we had guns, those would have been so easy. We'd have been done with it. Zero losses. There was, they were all melee. <laughs> like, we could have kited for days. Oh, well. How much grass do we have at the tree? 14. We have two people that can build now. 
So maybe we just pack up and go. Can we do that in six hours? Probably. I mean, it's not guaranteed the mechs are going to... Or uh, the caravan's going to happen from that side of the base anyway. Feels bad, though. Although this was the backup to the backup base. This is base number three, so I guess it's not a big deal anymore. All right. Uh, so where was that... There's that one. We're not sure if it's within four tiles or not. One, two, three, four, five. I d yeah, but it, it depends on if it counts. It has diagonal, like, one, two, three, four. It looks like it's five, but that's kind of where I want to go. Actually, I might not even take... Hmm. Closer the better. Closer the better. That one's definitely within, right? One, two, three, four. So we'll hit that one up, I suppose. I really don't care about the materials that much in this. It doesn't matter. Like the HQ materials doesn't matter nearly as much in this one because we are not using things as, as cover. We're not shooting anyone. So uh, going here with the marble for the, for the rooms and then Slate and sandstone are very fast materials to build, so. What's progress to win looking like on this challenge? We are currently researching uh, the second biggest part of the ship. So we actually don't have that much more to research. And then we can build the ship. So we're closer than it looks. All right, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to head on out. Three hours. All right. I guess we're going to wait for the mechs. They're going to head on out. Shushu. Conversations of the fighting system. Exact types. Injuries and operations. Yeah, there is a... Uh, we're not using any mods in this run, but there is a mod, too, that has little uh, thought bubbles when they have any kind of social interaction and whatnot, uh, which is kind of cool to, to play with. So as they're walking around, if you have them... They're, like, constantly conversating, right? Even when it's not uh, a negative or whatever. So it'll pop up, up over their head. So if anyone hasn't tried that one, it's a nice little touch to use. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just gonna, I guess we're just waiting on this. Wait a little bit too long. Base number three or number four, it will be. Okay, these are the ones that are protecting their area. So we could technically still do this. And as long as the caravan isn't heading in this direction, we we'll just leave the other way. Why not build armor or melee weapons? We did, but we lost all, all access to that stuff. So for instance, at this base, I can't really build swords because we have very little steel or anything like that. Also, we, were, we didn't have electricity at this base for like over a year. This base, we don't have electricity because the EMI device, so we can't make swords and maces all we can make are clubs uh, for melee weapons. So it, it's mainly that we haven't had power in years. And then this this map is basically devoid of uh, the resources we need now to make those things. So, no, we can absolutely make our own melee weapons and whatnot. But at the moment, all we can really do is make clubs because of the, uh, the EMI. Love the conversation bubbles. See what they are thinking of. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice one. That's also, yeah, that's another point too. This one is much more wealth sensitive than the others, so I've been trying to pull back, but. All right, let's see uh, which way we would caravan out from. And we'll go from there. Okay. Breezy. Fueled smithy. That's what we were talking about earlier. Um, so the reason we didn't make a fueled smithy here, now it's been a little while, we've had enough time now. The reason we didn't make one here was because there were no there were no trees. We had a fog event, a force weather fog event, and then we had the entire jungle burn down where we literally didn't have any trees for 
like a season and a half or whatever it was, almost two seasons. Jungle devoid of trees. So because of the forced fog event, it didn't trigger rain. The entire jungle burned down. We ended up having to eat raw food on this map for a while because EMI, no electricity, and then slaver. Might be our ticket. EMI, no electricity, and then uh, no wood. <laughs> like it's it's been really rough. So yeah, once we move, I think I'm gonna set that stuff up. Hopefully we get a good join off this. It's a lot of events of overlap. Let's go north. Do we? It's not to nerds this time. Also, one of the reasons I I haven't built as as much stuff like that in this run is it turns out that elephants have been. Uh, as far as wealth goes, it's been one of the strongest things per wealth. So like one elephant is 600 wealth baseline, and it can take out like three or four raiders. So I've been trying to spend more wealth, spend more wealth towards animal defense than using our colonist. Doesn't work well on those caravans, so it's the only problem, I suppose. Give a little dumb labor. 11 cooking though. Abrasive misandrist aesthetic. Five. Excuse me. Very neurotic jogger cannibal. Only 31. 10 animals. Yeah, I've never understood why animals that are that are trained to attack, even if you don't have them carrying something on a caravan, will just run away during caravan. I don't know. Like if that if that elephant had been able to attack, we would have been fine too. Release animals button. Work on a caravan. I don't know. I'll have to try it out. I'm on the fence about this game. Jogger very neurotic's nice. Having another animal. Teamer at the other one means we can take someone off animals right now. Uh, especially after we move it. We need bodies, so. Uh, if we took Merrick off animals to be primarily plant, that's fine. Steric. Taking Reezy off animals would be, would be good. Maybe we take him. Maybe. Understood that? I don't know, it doesn't... I, I'm gonna have to try it again, but I thought it didn't do anything on the caravan. Like, when you use it on the caravan, the animals just, like... When they get hit or shot or whatever, they just head on out instead of attacking the thing that's shooting them, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to double check. Uh, no. No, I've never watched any of their stuff. I didn't even know they were doing a melee thing. I mean, people told me that they ended up having to resort to using mortars and, and grenades and stuff. Which we might have to also. I'm not saying that in like a negative way. Just that no. I've never watched their stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to take them. Alright, let's see. Toxus. Who are you? You are... Pilot Wash. Welcome in, Pilot Wash. For the caravan again, if you want. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to test it out. How do you handle mood with sky high expectations? Um, What I did in the 20 year run, we had sky high expectations. So we had a couple million wealth is basically i just had a really impressive i had a barracks that added plus four and then also the top end it was also our uh dining and rec so we got uh the extremely impressive whatever it was um dining recreation and barracks all at the same time beautiful environment all that it was enough to with a biphasic to make it so that we never really had an issue cows have joined that's interesting cows are good 
welcome to the queue. Animal, yeah, so that's what I mean. Like, the animals flee when they're ranged attack, no matter the circumstance. So whether they're trained to attack and whatnot, if they are shot at, hit. Like, if they are locked in melee range, obviously they will they'll attack, but they'll fight back. Is that Scyther coming all the way? It was a mating pair, now it's gonna be zero cows. All right. Well, there went the cows. It's gonna yo-yo back, yeah. Oh, well. Well, I mean, <laughs> this one's not getting rescued. This one, maybe. Dead in two hours? No, it's dead in two. All right, we're easy. Let's get these done. Death bull one. Randy giveth and Randy taketh away. That's right. All right. File wash, we were gonna have you. Let's double check again. I'm gonna send you to the other colony, I believe. So, yeah, to help deal with the animals there. Mace. Okay. Alright, pilot wash. Drop you on top of that cluster? No. <laughs> Just where my camera was last time. Okay, right. so once we get all this mined, we'll set up a um, caravan. We'll see which way they're going. going that way then pull them back so now we can take Reezy off of handling uh probably you can also do crafting that's nice there we go good enough randy is as randy does okay Reezy, what are you doing resting okay Flash storm. Say maybe you walk there so you get ambushed and die immediately. Oh god. We're gonna get ambushed. We're gonna get ambushed again while moving. Things level once you get tailing and cloth. Oh, as far as, like, the speed of it. It doesn't take long to level it up. Gotcha. Alright, uh, let's see. Right down on who? Yanni. It's done, Yanni. Your friend Awesome Chair was lost? It's alright. He'll return to us someday. Probably not, but that's what we're gonna tell you. So we gotta be really careful. If we do this caravan, they start heading anywhere within this quadrant of the map. We just gotta, gotta pull away. Mm -hmm. 
nose did. Last no skill, no passion challenge. Your pawn started with zeros. Everything had 10 shooting, 3 melee, 10 constructing, 6 mining, 7 cooking, 9 plants. You and Rhino. So for that go for it. Like, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's pretty good. How many years in did it take him to get to that level? What are you doing? Merrick, we need that meat. Two or three years. Put them in a dark room so it slows them down. That's interesting, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's get these, and then we're going to try this. Manners, get down the wealth afterwards. The next base will be our new main base, I think, is how I'm going to do it. Might be the one we actually make the ship on. Maybe. Maybe. Is there a... Hmm. There are mountains over here we could get to that aren't too bad, but the problem is getting ambushed on the way, because last time we traveled this distance, we got ambushed twice, right? So, getting to, like, this mountain area would be pretty awesome. We don't have to worry about uh, a open map. Don't have to worry about sappers quite as much. Just don't know if that's going to happen. Like, how long would it take us to go there instead? Two days versus... Less than a day. Hmm. It's also, um, hmm. what do we have down here? Large hills. Yeah. Oh, well. That's where we're going. So we're gonna look at this one if it's too close to the end, then we'll move over one. If we can even get there, I don't know yet. Might be a little tricky. All right, let's pack it up and see. Gifting organs is really good for social experience. Welcome to the queue. Uh, Fedora, feeling festive. And into the queue, look at you. All right. What's gonna suck is replacing this if uh, if we caravan the wrong direction. So. Oh well, it's time. Man, Swamp Witch, what is going on with you? What's wrong with you? Miss Andrist? We can find it with all the time. You and Yanni. I need to put you guys on opposite schedules or something. Uh, man, oh man. Miss Andrist. Ugly. Okay. Yanni and Swamp Witch. Let's, let's change you guys up. So, Yanni, Raider. Are you guys already... I mean, you're recreating together is the only thing. I don't know. It's their second fight. If they have another one, I think I'm gonna redo their schedule. Oh my god, destroyed his toes. Maybe I should just go ahead and do it. Just put one in the office calling. Yeah, that's true too. Let's drop him over here. Swamp Witch. It's too bad that Whoops is still down. Mm. Yanni is just researching, so we might actually move into the other colony. Alright, let's get these brought in. Mm 
It's quick sleeper, yeah. Yeah, they're overlapping quite a bit. All right, let's see how this looks. looking at the blocks so we see what else see how much weight we have left here yeah we're almost at max off that so no blocks it's all right we can get blocks over there. It shouldn't take too long. All right. I'll see you which direction they go in. Sorry, cats. You're staying behind. This is your colony now. Mm. That's right. Got to pop that open. All right, let's do that again. Mm -hmm. Gotta make sure I actually take the elephant, it's named Cat. See how this goes. Man, if we get ambushed again, oh. Surely, surely Randy won't do that. We had two ambushes on the same caravan. He's got to chill out for a little bit now, right? Right. Not the cats. They knew what they were getting into when they joined. <laughs> Somehow. Alright. Now we need to watch very closely. I forgot to put that in after the, uh, they have 10 days of cold weather here. And we never put these in after we, uh, got the EMI device taken care of. Friggin' Randy. Alright, where are you guys gathering? Oh, that's so close! Double toxic fallout, maybe. It's been a while since we had a toxic fallout, actually. We've had one in this. I think the only event we haven't had in this run is a uh, volcanic winter. I think that's it. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> you almost call it pilot wash, but it's a defoliator ship. It's not a toxic fallout. Just letting you guys know I'm still here. <laughs> Imagine that fell and hit the caravan. Goodbye, colony number three. Maybe I should have taken some of that wood with us too. Ah, uh, there's plenty of wood in the jungle, right? How close are we to linking with the tree again? Oh, we're at 19. I should have waited one more day. Why is the last pawn so slow? Uh, because she has two peg legs. And no eyes. Also, she's missing an ear. This is, uh, this, this is the only home Hysteric has ever known. Two peg legs in the swamp. She's just hopping through the mud. <laughs> Come on, baby elephant. 
just make it at this point. I know they're going to be one of the candidates for the uh, the ship if we can get to that point. I might end up having to send them some food and stuff. We'll see. Please, man. We've already had two ambushes on caravans. Scare me a little bit. Oh, it's time for the base to burn down now that we're gone. Cool. All right, cats, you can go anywhere now. The map is yours. We're already gone. <laughs> Leave us alone. Can't wait for the uh, paralytic abasia join over here. You got this, Boomalope. weapon. Yep. Yep. So we're going to find the tree. Hopefully it's in a good location. We're going to set up base right next to the tree. It's on the edge of the map. I might still do it, even though I don't really want to be on the edge of the map. Attack, train animals, they do their job as long as they have a master in the caravan and are set to follow master when drafted. So they have to actually, okay. So they have to be assigned a master. Thank you for testing. So. In that situation, will they actually go and attack a ranged enemy, uh, like shooting at them as well? Or only if their master is uh, involved in the combat against that person? Do you know? Hold it on the science. Yeah, I think we tested that. Caravan's a little slow, yeah. Even on a road. They arrived. Let's see if it's too close. Nope, it isn't. Okay. All right. Base number four. Jesus. A new beginning. Maybe this will be where we make the ship. Okay. Got a little river here. Not too bad. What else we had? Some random structures. Anna tree is at the edge of the map, unfortunately. Oh my god, look at all the... Uh, the steam geysers. I wanted to call them geothermals. Man, that's so close to the edge of the map. I hate building that close to it, but I think in this scenario we might just do it. Because I, I see a lot of rich soil over there too. Look at Look at that. Alright. This is where our new home goes, I suppose. Geothermal there. Okay, so. Alright, let's do it. Um, let's get initial barracks up. Let's do the uh, one long building here. Yeah, we don't need that. Alright. Chop wood. Do we have anything that we can tear down nearby? Man, I kind of hate being that close. It's animals, they charge enemies, even while under fire. That's good to know. Thank you. So they do have to have a master assigned is the only thing. This is a much area, better area to build, but I, I really want that anima tree. A wanderer joins. Oh no, what are you doing, dragon? A nimble night owl. Oh man, dragon, I don't know. I don't know about this. First off, Excuse me. You need to drop that gun. All right, just 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 stay in the walls. I don't know. I'll we'll figure something out with you. I should have abandoned this tile. I'm just gonna put all capitals. Maybe it's taken. I'll know. Okay. Uh. 
There is a building here we can tear down. It's really close to the edge. I'd like to just get a wall set up, and then we can replace it with wood really quick. Chase the other one. Yeah. If they're good. Nine Owl Nimble. We're not very good. 53. Yeah, I'll think about it. But let's get this set up. So I guess I'll just set up uh, with wood temporarily, and then we'll just uh, do the stone. Stone after that. Structure. Come on, guys, it's time to get up. Gotta get up. Uh, where's the table? Install that. Uh, we'll do that on... Middle-ish. How many beds do we bring? I'm not bringing the other, uh, other double. I don't think I did. Plus, this way. sounds like the beginning of a joke. <laughs> Being led by a blind person with two peg legs. Yes, it is. <laughs> they stumble into a bar. Rude. We have a fourth base now. Crazy. Look at the colors of the old one. How's it going, Zulu? Okay. No punchline for it, though. larger than I really want, but if this is going to be the main base, then let's well, check that. So that's where all of our growing is going to be. There's going to be a power. There's our tree. Yeah, let's not worry about this. I doubt we'll have enough that we need to grab that second one. So we can just have this be the, uh, the outside wall. Put a little gap. One, two, three. Nah, no, screw it. We'll just have this share it. Like, sappers, it's not like we can lure them anywhere anyway. If they're going to break in a wall... What does it matter which wall, I guess? So, whatever. Whatever. Uh, so again, we don't need to grab that, but we do need to build beside this stupid... <sighs> terrain affordance area here. Kind of sucks. Otherwise, this would be such a nice area to close in. But it's all right.
We're making some funky shaped bases this time. Uh, we'll put... Hmm. Wild man wonders in with a relationship. Who's in a relationship with this wild man? What are you doing? Wild men need love too. Uh, let's just connect this to here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of having the outer wall in case we have a breakdown or something, but... Oh, well. We'll at least start without it. Initial plans have been laid. I could just make the blocks right off. Like, we have super low expectations. Um, so it might not be as big of a deal. Okay, what else do we have up here? Haven't placed this yet. Uh, that bed's going. This one needs to put down as well. I think Colony's just chilling. They're just doing their job. They're researching. Look at that. We're almost done with it. Where's this wild person? <laughs> and we got this guy to deal with, but we're just gonna just gonna wait on that. There you go, just stay alive. Maybe. You run going to make brutality, have gone further. Some more. Three plus years this time, you got food really stockpiled just in case talks to rain again. <laughs> That's a good idea. <coughs> um, are you on a similar map as last time or trying something different this time? So the entrance will be right here. So we can line up there pretty quickly. And then we'll have it drop down, I guess. Uh, let's check the terrain allowance here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Try something a little different. There we go. Yeah. Hopefully we can get things up and running before this is attacked. So, what's the wealth of this one? 20,000 wealth? Oh man, we can be attacked by probably like... 10 people. We gotta get this initial uh, wall here done and like just a basic trap tunnel into the into the base. Usually we do something more elaborate later. Alright. All that rich soil we have here, though, if we can actually get settled and take advantage of it before Randy kills us. If we can take advantage of that before Randy takes advantage of us. Be in good shape. Let's run to some just initial wood walls, get it up, and then we'll get it switched over after that.
Uh, what do we got? Construction. Let's... Yeah, we got it on two. Savannah so has a four. They can help build these, I guess. But we're gonna need a lot of wood to do it. Uh, what else are they doing? So, Hysteric is basically just building. Reezy is basically just building. Look at those moods, man. Night Owl in the daytime. Oh, Rakes, you're a Night Owl. I forgot. Sorry, Rakes. fun with it. I also shouldn't complain about being in the dark either. Uh, let's see. I need to make one of those chairs really quick so they can stop eating without table. Let's make two of them. Should have brought some with us. Do you watch any of the conferences from E3? Some reading best? A bunch of games shown off that did you I watched trailers pretty much all of them, but I didn't watch like the details of most of them. So I added a I typed down a list of things that I was kind of interested in. Uh, I'll have to grab that list sometime. So it's nails. Gonna add new game the rotation anytime soon? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna do this challenge first and then I'll decide from there. Are you getting tired of Rimworlds? Four mountains this time. Get a really protected spot. So far, you fought awesome, decent raids with just five pawns. Never getting tired of Rimworlds. Uh, Rhino, go to the animal zone. The other ones, actually, I'm fine. We're keeping them on unrestricted for now. They're hauling stuff. We just gotta get food back up. The well, problem is we're so far away from, like, steel and stuff. There's some uranium, though. There's some steel. But I'm just gonna use a campfire again for now. Going to uh, switch over to actual electricity at this base, but it's going to take a little bit. Our community so go ahead and copy grows. those meals over. guy in the auto join over here he's probably just gonna leave in there until he dies or am i just being in it we'll see we'll see our community grows all right who's the cook i think it's zamana zamana go ahead and make some make some food marley thank you for the follow and grave dancer thank you for the follow also so there's a copy all yeah there's a mod for that what really sucks too is I forgot that uh, without a mod, when something gets destroyed but it's auto rebuilt, that doesn't maintain the uh, the bills. That one was really annoying to get used to again. It's gonna be you, the new CPU, next time you play RimWorld. Yeah. Man, you got a huge upgrade compared to what you have been using, right? So, all around. Graphics card. It's probably more doors than we really need this, but whatever. Just gotta get this done again. Uh, who's the couple? It's Hysteric and some mana. Hysteric, actually, just move your bed. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. <laughs> Sterex, Mono, there we go. Uh, Swamp Witch. Thank you for the resub. Thank you, Swamp Witch. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Very much appreciated. Uh, if you would like to see your character, sorry, you're ugly, you like drugs just a little bit, and you don't sleep very much. Thank you, Swamp. Swamp, below. 
Maybe I should just call you Witch, or just Willow. No, whole name every time. Go meet when slaughter uses letters of tin every 12 days. Oh, which one? To add tribbles from Star Trek. We're talking about that other, the other day with the, uh, uh, the Yorkies. A new subscriber. Come and steal yourself. We are building an Al Imperator, whose name I'm still never sure I get right. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. Fly Spirit Gaming for four months. Winnie for two. Meatball for their first plank for four. And Marabou for 16. You get hit a lot of resubs. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the support. Yeah, today's the first day of me doing the stream without another job. So it's kind of crazy. Thank you guys for helping. Much appreciated. Is that a third base? Yeah, well, our fourth base. Current third, yep. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> it's needed, trust me. Alright, some mana, getting those done. Okay, that's enough some mana. We gotta get this uh, built. Um, can I send... Like, we're not really building over here very much. I might send someone that's good at construction over there. Get things going. Um, I don't know. We don't have that many here either. I can send King Loser. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, actually. Got to get that one up and running. That's going to be the new main base, I believe. So, we'll get that going. Hello, the series the one. How far are you now from that video? Uh, let's see. Uh, we're about 45 hours past that point. This is a long run. Long run. Yeah, it's 45 hours past that point. Good lord. I didn't even realize it was as long as it is. But yeah, thank you for uh, watching on YouTube. Thank you, Arzonica. Yeah. Watch from here. <laughs> There's been so many crazy things. Ridiculous things. Alright, King Loser. Do you have a bed for you as well? Uh, let's see. On construction, mining, perfect. Crazy, crazy run so far. Base number four, though. Second quest, scary step. I have to help. Pronunciation perfect? Yes. Nailed it. Alimperator. Uh, no, thank you. I do appreciate it. Be done by the 4th of July if you just watch all. <laughs> yeah. well, do nothing but watch this run. You'll be fine. It's done. Oh no! <laughs> I, guys, I should probably abandon this. We got dragons and cockroaches moving in. Are you good? 11 melee. Brawler. <sighs> whatever. We'll look at you guys later. Just survive, I guess. Or do whatever. I don't care. Alright, uh, Reezy, what are you up to? So in the area. Oh, we ain't that moved out to. Doors open. Reezy, can you move? Yeah, we're out of wood, okay. Take a lot of wood to get started here. Yeah, I got silver there. The Amish colony continues. Never goes anywhere. Just continues to exist in perpetuity. Forever and ever. Till the end of its days. Combat supplies at the second colony. Okay. Well, first colony now. You gotta stop calling it second colony. 
Ranks about to have a breakdown. Why? Look at how glorious this place is. Now in the daytime. Go to sleep. I have it set. Just go to sleep. Bolt goods trader. Oh, this base getting traders all at once. Nice. Okay. Uh, do we have enough to finish this wall? We really need to stop sleeping out. Do not. Okay. I have them on plant cutting too. That'll help. Can't change quality names though. Uh, you can, so you can go into the developer tools and there's a force event naming, name colony or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, we can technically use that to do it. I think we actually did that to rename one in the last run. Uh, all right, which kind of traders are you? I know we had a bolt goods and then we had a weapons. I think these were actually the weapon, yeah. Alright, so... I guess I'm just gonna leave these guys here. Hopefully it's not a mistake, because if they die, we're gonna get minus three for each. So you really just like about night owls? I know, it's really... It is really frustrating. You set them to sleep during the hours they're supposed to sleep. Even if they don't have something like quick sleep or whatnot, they still end up getting that mood debuff. It's like... Chicken army lives. If I steal from traders at this one, I'm just trying to keep the wealth low still is the main reason. We should have enough steel at the new colony to, to make whatever we will need, but yeah, it's mainly just wealth. I don't have a lot to sell them this time. Man, what is up with not like any exotic goods traders? We really need exotic goods traders in this run. We've had like two, the entire run. Like 50 hour run so far. Maybe two or three exotic goods traders. It really sucks. <laughs> We're bad, so right now, for that reason, it annoys you having to be inefficient. Yeah. Give them crappy stone beds so they sleep longer. Yeah. And it really screws this biphasic thing too. I might just ignore it once we have the barracks up, honestly. Can't help visualize vampires snarling as they shield themselves and scourge the light. <laughs> Bad hair. Good luck. Good luck, little buddy. You got this. You just got to get two groups of uh, traders. You're gonna be just fine. Oh no, let's go on DK. Welcome third base. Yeah, our community grows. Ah, uh, Galactic Kitty. Thank you for the follow, Kitty. Shower force in the mood. Let's go with them not getting to their bed in time. Yeah, that, and but like, um, like Arzonica was saying, if you have it so that they get rested fast enough, they're gonna get up anyway. Fourth base with, uh, and then they'll get that debuff. So you also have to make sure they don't sleep well, but it shouldn't be a big issue once we get uh, everything going over here though.
Mad Boomalo. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Jumping zone, we're gonna put a jumping zone here for uh, stone blocks. Set that as critical. Stone chunks only, rather not blocks. Then we'll do this one. Set this as critical. We'll put crab out there that we don't need inside. So, uh, mainly stone blocks, plasteel, steel, uranium. Okay. We need if they uh, just hate the sun, just not certain hours. Yeah, but then I guess it'd be too close to undergrounder. Our colony, what prompted it? So we went to destroy the EMI device from this colony and we lost everyone in the process. So I was like, screw it. Let's go uh, make a colony outside of the reach of the EMI. So earlier in the stream today, we lost everyone at that colony pretty much, all but two people trying to take out the EMI. It's just very difficult to do these caravanning and beat pirates with melee only. So I'm thinking, or I'm wondering if they can't spawn a new EMI dynamo quest with one active. And so we just moved right outside the range of it. Eventually we'll uh, we'll get rid of this colony. But probably should just do it already. Yeah, that is why. I don't like being so close to the edge of the map here. That's what I'm really concerned about in this one. But this should be the new main colony if we can get established here. This might be where we launched the ship from, if we can get to that. We've actually, it doesn't look like we've made a lot of progress today, but honestly, the other colony is, is progressing as fast as we possibly can. We have six people doing research, so... Um, we've already done, what, Long Range Mineral, mineral Scanner, Johnson, Tanaka Drive, and Starship Reactor all just today already. We're almost done with the, well, we're on our way to getting done with the vacuum. Let's see. Let's stay here for 10 days, then 10 days go. Thanks, I'm moving on now. He never left the map. He kept working and eating and living at your colony. It's been a year now. Two more of those style quests and both of those groups conclude their quests. Are you still active? It's awkward whenever you're planning base expansions. Kind of want to bed next year or what? That is really weird. Yeah, I wonder what's causing that bar. <laughs> never consider just running away as a strategy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just treat it like real life. Just ignore your problems, run away from them, and eventually they go away. Well, they don't go away. They stay there, but you you think about them a little less each day. Occasionally they come back to bite you. <coughs> but that almost never happens. Alright, so where's the closest steel? Sagi so Sue, it's been a while since we had one of those. Nice. Snake shit. Center core? No. That's what we're going to start working on. That's another reason why we moved here is because I need electricity so that we can um, start scanning to mine plasteel and stuff while we wait. So, yeah, that's a big one. The Persona Core, we have the offer for it, so we could go get it. Uh, we have the money to pay for the location. That's going to be a tough one. We'll probably want to drop pot in and, uh, and walk back. So hopefully we only get one ambush or none rather than two. One there, one back. What? This is, we have silver and compact machinery. Did you... There's a steel building down across the river. Is that what you were seeing? Yeah, it's silver. King Loser watching the sunset. Look at all the steel here, though. This is like a range. Yeah, kind of shootery and uh. There we go. 
Um, make any stone blocks do forever. I'll tell you when to stop. That. Let's make sure that if you have nothing else to do, you're cutting blocks. Uh, cutting blocks is global work speed, so it's not actually related to crafting. Oddly enough, it used to level up crafting experience. It does not anymore. Okay, let's hold that open in case a little raid comes. Okay, King Loser. You're fine. On an angle, what's here? It's really liking it now. You're that far? It's OP. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah. Can't wait to do another run where we can use guns again. This has been fun. It's not been real fun. It's been real, it's been fun, but it has been real fun. <laughs> All right, what do you got here? Marble. All right, zone. Uh, let's go ahead and make the walls where the walls will eventually be. Just go ahead and prep it. Man, I don't like this, these super light colored zones. Oops. Why do I keep misclicking? Don't know. It's a mystery. Okay. That'll do. The walls, the walls. There we go. So, hopefully, this will be a nice, happy little base for the rest of the game. Until an EMI device sets up, we don't have a way to deal with it, and we run away again. Yay. So I'm just setting this stuff up. Uh, might as well right now. We can't pause, so might as well get things like this ready. While they're doing other stuff, they are currently cutting blocks, which we're going to use to uh, make this outer wall. For the barracks over to stone after that as well. Okay, it's good enough for now. Danny, you're still alive. It's been not great. We lost five more people today. It seems like how did we have a good day where we rebuild, and then we have another day where we lose like half or. 90% of the colonists, and then we build back the next day. So, uh, yeah, it's one of those days. Just one of those days. Uh, we're gonna have to keep cutting wood. So once we get this outer wall thing done, uh, barracks set up, the aim will actually get electricity on this colony, which would be fantastic. All right. Fun. It's entertaining for sure, though. <laughs> Goat cells, you need to rezone them because they were eating all your crops. Yeah, it's interesting, though. Goats actually need less nutrition than most other animals in the game, especially for their size. If I remember right, unless it's changed, goats eat the least amount of nutrition for their... Uh, for that size. This guy's doing a table over there. This is a new tile, yeah. Same run. Same run. Psychic drone, medium on the females. Uh, alright, which map is that happening at? How do relax range weapon? Who? Oh. Well, it's probably a good thing it happened here of all places, I suppose, because they're just chilling, living their best lives, you know. Phelan's pregnant again. Jeez, Phelan. Staying busy, I see. Mm -hmm. 
Although, if you end up going longer than 20 years or any still ramps up, where when does he cap out? Um, so I don't remember the exact wealth number, but also it depends a little bit on your uh, your population if you've lost someone recently, stuff like that. But basically, the raid or the game ends up capping out to where like each raid size has its own individual cap, right? Because there's a cap on how many points it can spin. So like the biggest mech raid you could ever get without mods is 50 centipedes. 50 centipedes is as high as you can get with mech raids. But it takes like a lot of wealth to get to that point. We'll, we'll, I don't even think we've seen a centipede. So we've been keeping our wealth super, super low. Um, yeah. You had 56 and a single, and just a single like mech attack. Not from like a cluster spawner or drop in that way or a builder. You just had 56 centipedes roll onto the map. That's really weird. Do you think it was mod involved or a different patch or something? Because when we were doing the 20 year thing, that's one of the things we tested was like, if we have like a billion wealth, what do max point raids look like for centipedes? And it was always 50. It's modded, but not heavily. Yeah, that's really weird. That's a weird number too, 56. I think a mod must have done it as well. 50 is the core max. Yeah, that's what, that's what I've done. I wonder what would have impacted it. Uh, yeah, the new tile hopefully is gonna be the, the main one. <laughs> We've lost so many people here. Just a single guy. Yeah, I don't remember what the wealth was. Yeah, it sounds fun. Kind of interesting, just that one guy. Yeah, this is gonna be the main base once we get it running. That's the goal anyway. Royal Tribute Collector. Oh, I didn't end up uh, trading with the arms dealer while they were here. I traded with the bolt goods and not the arms dealer, whoops. You're playing with a modded storyteller, but it's supposed to be event frequency only. Yeah, I don't know, that's weird. Maybe he has something different in his population curve that increased it. Well, Beats, welcome in. Welcome in. Someone told me that you missed Dragon Age yesterday. Uh, I I will continue, but yeah, I had to do a lot of stuff yesterday, starting to close down our our business. So didn't get to, didn't really get to play anything yesterday. Did I play anything at all? I don't think I played off stream at night or anything. Back to it next week. Glad to know that people enjoy it. Oh, Matt, meteorites, meteorites everywhere. Really, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I want, there's so many runs I want to do. Like, that's the only thing I dislike about this one is it's taking so long. But if we lose this attempt, the next attempt, I'm gonna like literally just rush balls to the wall, see what happens. We'll we'll probably die, but it'll be interesting. Lego game levels, directions nice. Gotcha. Have you been watching Lego Masters? My wife and I watch Lego Masters. Major break. Yeah, we have a second drone going on here. Hopefully it ends pretty soon. Tribal start, royalty win, no electricity. Yeah, you can do that. I don't know that I want to. Maybe. I may add it to the list. Like I said, I have so many runs that I want to do, you know. Yanni with a tantrum. All right, Yanni. What are you breaking? I gotta be cautious here. Ambassadors. The Larnet. They do that host. Uh. Speaking of Will Arnett, uh, Lego Batman. So good. I never hear anyone talk about the Lego Batman movie, but I thought it was really good. Just making sure he doesn't go after anything. Like, we can arrest him, let him go, but... As long as he's just breaking this random crap. Not a big deal. All right. 
How are you in here? Okay, starting to that wall. Good. We got 20 more. Initial trap area is done aside from that. Um, Breezy, you're already on it. Nice. Anyway, and chat with your Loki. Katai. Why not put beds together and no bedrooms? Uh, there's two main reasons. One is it reduces wealth a lot, and you don't have to have as big of an area. You can actually get a barracks up to a plus uh, mood modifier. If you get a barracks, uh, if you share the barracks with your dining and recreation, and then you get it fancy enough, they can get a crazy mood boost. I think we were in our 20 year challenge that we did, our 5% no pause 20 year. Uh, we had like a room that was giving plus 34 or something like that mood boost twice a day. So barracks, if you make it impressive enough, you will get a mood boost off of it. They will get disturbed sleep, but that was changed back in like 1.1 where disturbed sleep only gets you to a minus three. But I mean, if we had individual bedrooms for eight people, uh, that would be, not only would it be much larger, but it'd be way more wealth, and then because of more wealth, we'd be hit harder with raids. So it all comes back to this makes raids easier and min-maxing on this uh, difficulty, especially in this kind of challenge, is really important. So we really need to get the stone blocks. Maybe I'll just throw wood up here and then redo it. Kind of don't want to do that. We'll have wealth of both for a little while, but yeah, we might do it anyway. Yep, no problem. Yeah, barracks are really, really strong. And it doesn't take that much to get them impressive. Like this looks like a crappy barracks. Let's take a look what it's at right now. Very impressive. So this is giving them a mood boost overall. Believe it or not, and it's like nothing. It's going squid, welcome in. Alright, screw on that. Uh, we have more than enough wood. Let me go ahead and cancel the other wood. I think they probably already cut it all down, honestly. Second drone's ending. We only had one breakdown. It's not too bad. Over halfway to the next ship piece. Still can't believe this. They're just taking off. We even lost five people today. It's been crazy. I was going to ice team. Look back. Yeah, that's my biggest concern in this is being this close to the edge ship. Because if we get a uh, an attack, specifically a sapper attack at the edge, they will be on top of us before we can do anything. That wall will be broken down. So I might put an extra layer of wall at some point out here, at least as a way to slow down Sapper so we can pull back. But yeah, that is my biggest uh, concern is being this close to the edges of the map. Uh, another big one is animal attacks. Like if we get hit, a uh, big manhunter attack even comes in like from down here, they're just gonna be on top of this base. And if anyone's out mining or anything, they're probably gone, but I think it's probably worth it for us to get to tier six side casting. Hopefully we can get another Neuroquake. Really need one. We have not gotten a single Berserk Berserker Pulse. We've gotten Berserk one time in this challenge. Excuse me. And no Berserker Pulses at all. Somewhat impressive. We need to get this one to very impressive too. Uh, let's fix this home zone. Okay. Where's the colony? Oh, you know, still just the five losses today. <laughs> Just five deaths, that's all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Gonna befriend it. 
Thanks. Have my lunch. Yeah, it's been pretty rough. We lost uh we lost five people. Tiberius lives on. Whether it wants to or not. You know, I might throw another one of these up. Grows. Uh, how much sleep we got? We got 40 sleep. Um, Rachel Melstrom. I think we knew your name right. Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. Welcome in. So, yeah, we're going to get this stone wall done hopefully soon. What do we got here? We got some kind of frog going on. <laughs> we interesting. Uh, what's. I think that's that's a pay pay we got going on. Anyway, we'll get that done. Uh, we'll get this converted over, and then we should be good to just finally get to electricity on this base. Actually, have electricity again would be real nice. Some of these guys have never known electricity. Hysteric has never known electricity. And then we'll actually get uh, some armor, swords, etc. Shit going. construction again. All right, four more sandstone. Sandstone at least goes up quick, so that's nice. You need warm clothes. You're a nudist. Get over it. The thumbless nudist. Only downside is no components. Probably going to need to strip mine to find them. Yeah. That is a downside to mountain maps. A lot of the materials are trapped in the mountains. Lots... Oh my god, this colony's up to three auto joins. Ugh. <laughs> Are they even. I gotta do something with this colony. Alright, let's take a look at them, see if we want them. Um at the other base, and if not, we should probably just abandon it now that we're gone. Horn from the Empire. Horn. All right. You got that horn? I think so. Is that where you're on your way to? No, it's <laughs> smelting slag. Okay, rescue them. All right, let's take a look, see if we want any of these. If not, uh, man, we're gonna get a, we're gonna have to go arrest them. Anyone got good social? So we can arrest these two and let them go. We don't want them. Abrasive, jealous body pierced. 50 years old. Yeah, I think we're just going to abandon this. Brawler with 11. It's okay, crafting. This is calling number four, right? I mean, I could just leave it here with just the one guy. Because if he survives and uh, we keep having auto joins, we can just arrest them and like, get rid of them. I'm worried about Abasia. That's the main thing. What do you mean? Safe temperature. That's safe. It's 55. They're fine. All right, fine. So we want them to escape. Basically. Check the other day. Yeah. And because this opens up into another enclosed area, they're probably not going to escape through here. So we'll probably want to rip down a piece of wall and then put it back up.
get him out of there. How are we doing over here on blocks? Look at that. Look at that. Blocks of plenty. It's almost 100. Oh no, he's escaping. Okay. Chasing him down. Worked on that one. I guess the temperature is high enough now that it allows us to do it again. All right, put them in there. So the reason I'm doing this for everyone is like, what's going on? It's so that um, if you let them, if you imprison them and then let them escape, you don't get a mood penalty. Um, but you do if you let them die or if you banish them. This is like the way to banish pawns without getting a mood hit. Not enclosed. But let us do it in this one. Oh, do you mean the, the outer wall I was talking about? Yeah, I guess if we let them escape that, well, it seems like the door screwed up. I don't know why, but we're working on it. All right. Maximum level reached. Insatiable D. Insatiable Ed. They were the 36 months. It's a long time, man. Still can't believe you came back after I ever mispronounced your name for like a couple months. Insatiable, think of the tier three. There's not a lot of people at tier three. No, you've heard of this, but thank you, thank you. Much love to Insatiable. Not like it's grayed out, absolutely not existent. Other people have mentioned that too. They might be getting rid of ad bits entirely. Yeah. How colony three die? This, do you mean base three or? Cause we've been on this, this same, this is the same attempt that we were on two weeks ago. Yeah, I think we got rid of it. So a tri -palin? Tanks would win. Base 3? It didn't die. We just left. Um, all these people were at this base, but we have moved on because while trying to take out the EMI camp, we got ambushed twice in the same caravan. Uh, we lost everyone in the caravan, and so I was like, you know what? Screw it. The EMI can stay there. I'm leaving. So we just, we just leave or left. We leaved. Thank you, Sashul. Let's get all together. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. Sucks, then. Port squirrels and blackberries, so. That's right. Made like a tree and split. He just lives here with the cats now. Just him and the cats. I mean, he's not gonna live long, but he's living. <laughs> I was wanting to make him haul it, but it's outside the walls. We'll just leave them there. We'll see what the audio are like. Cat lady survival. Welcome back. And if it came reactor as a word for a thousand hours playtime, I don't even know if that existed in Vanilla Rim World. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty rare. They don't t they don't create a lot of chem fuel, but I mean it's just free chem fuel. It's kinda like the um uh, there's a couple other items like that. They're super rare. Uh, okay Lord, think of the resub. Four months! So a long time ago, I'm gonna repay it now for a good while. Thank you, okay, Lord. Appreciate it, man. Give me the sport. It's going fire shadow. Should probably split this recording. Yeah, the Vanimatrix, the Emanators, Infinite Kim Fuel. Yeah, I guess those are the three in the base one that are super rare. I hardly ever see the Vanimetric one. The Emanator, we got one in the Cassandra run. We actually got it pretty early on, which was awesome. You've only seen the Venometric power cell once in like 900 hours. Yeah, that's rough. Let's go on Team Jones. Welcome in. 
You got two and 550. It's crazy. cheating quest score it was cool yeah it's pretty nice like i said it doesn't create a lot but it just looks like free so speaking of power we've gotten no power cells all the mech clusters in this playthrough well in this attempt of this playthrough uh none of them have had a power cell probably because they're low wealth i guess i'm gonna review a half hour third one this week we're so tired good luck good luck Our frog, uh, Matashki, welcome in. <laughs> Your mates believe. Absolutely looks like a frog. Wasn't intentional. But. <laughs> this person's gonna die of disease. This is gonna happen. Oh uh, man. They're fine. Got a Pepe base going on. Yeah. <laughs> so happens. That's how the uh, how this was shaped. Tiberius. The addition. This has to be the run, guys. If we have to hop around to every tile on the map, this is the run. Does it still count? Yeah, it still counts. How is that other base? Why did you abandon it? So, uh, basically, this base has had an EMI field set up for over two years. We we finally got enough people to caravan out and, and destroy it. And uh, we got ambushed by animals. So, first off, that sucks with melee in general. We managed to survive, but just barely. So, I was like, alright, we were only a couple tiles away from this base. So, I was like, alright, we're going to go back home. We're going to lick our wounds, and we'll, then we'll go back out. So before we can get back here, we get ambushed again by pirates. And at that stage, everyone is uh, either already down or one hit from being down. The pirates downed everyone, kidnapped them, raid captured. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I won't worry about destroying it. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> so we, uh, we grabbed who we could and we went and started a new base. That one's kind of a call. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm keeping it. I'm a little worried about Abasia joins. We haven't had one in a little bit, but we've had a lot in this run. But we did have two auto joins, and if those would have been incredible pawns, we could send them over to one of the other colonies. So, come answer a question for you. Okay. All right, guys. I need you to keep this alive. All right. It'll only be a moment. Just a moment. Don't let me die. Okay. Oh, the website design. That's awesome. Thank you. I wonder how many people actually check it out. All right, I'll be right back. I'm running.
Oh, I need help from someone. No raids. We win. Glad to share his face. All hell chair. It's on fire fruit. It's a sad chair. I'm going to split this recording for the YouTubes. The stream is not over, though. We've got hours left. But I need to split the recording. I should have already done that. Probably an hour ago. Ah, oh, it's fine. 